Hi there to whoever is watching. Before this epic adventure begins, I would like to make a big disclaimer. Inside this adventure, we're going to reference to magic mushrooms and, you know, drugs. However, this is a dark horror fantasy story and we are looking into how horrible substances and herbs could affect your mind. There's no reality in this. This is purely fiction and stay away from horrible drugs. Can you truly trust your own thoughts or the perception of who you are? What is lie and what is true and how long have you been a fool? Welcome to Mind Maze, a story about being lost inside your own thoughts. You are living in a large town with 500 souls, governed and ruled by the self-proclaimed King Greg. Greg rules this city with absolute authority, deciding what each individual citizen's occupation should be. You have been placed in the stables, among with others, to mend for the entire city's animal, horses, cows and pigs and chickens. It's either this or treasonous execution. One of this city's many specialties is a highly educated pharmacist with experience about mushrooms and herbs from the forest. You, however, you uneducated drunken fools are never allowed to question these decisions from the pharmacists and the ruler Greg. With the direct orders, you've been told to feed specific mushrooms and herbs to different horses, depending on if it's a working horse, a war horse, or a chicken, or a pig you're going to eat. The pharmacists claim that they have found different magical properties within these mushrooms and herbs. But as drunk and fools you are, over the years you've started to identify and learn where to find these mushrooms and herbs inside the forest. And you've really started to like the great feeling it brings. Over the years in the stables you started to grow together more and more. Even though you're not blood related and you do have families of your own of some various sorts, you've started to become more and more like brothers and sisters. Life is simple, life is good, as long as you don't step out of line. But take heed on the fact that all actions matter as everything you will be noted down on your character sheet for your character's development. Unfortunate for you, these are the only rules that I will tell you, as I, your storyteller, are gonna be lurking in the shadows. One day, as any other normal day, one of your dear friends, and as considered brother, Harpa doesn't show up for work. This isn't all that unusual. However, when you're walking home that night, as you observe into the forest, you see Harpa running through the forest naked, with a torch in his hand, disappearing deeper into the dark woods. Maybe this isn't the first time. Eventually, you caught up to him as he's standing there with his torch in the middle of the forest, looking in all direction. Suddenly, he's turning around and looks straight into your eyes.
You're standing there. The only person we know by name so far is Harpa, who we can clearly see his name tag. I think uh, we have a, someone who's joining us pretty soon here. Harpa, you're standing there in the middle of the forest and suddenly three people appear with the torches from uh, the dark. And you three see this naked person that you recognize as your friend. That is currently the state of where this adventure is. Okay. Alright, so, so, so just before we start yes. them, uh, what, what kind of, uh, what are the, like, uh, boundaries in the character creation? We are all stable hats. Yes. You, you, I will try it. Say what you kind of want to have and create, and I will say no. if that's out of limits. For example, if uh, you're no. gonna have, yeah. it doesn't really matter. I, I just wondered. So, like, th that's th that's where we're at. Uh, did all did, did we all have the same introduction? Everyone but one. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And I've actually accidentally. This is my bad. Uh, destroyed his introduction a little bit. So I might have to ask how much he actually what he missed. No, uh, you missed everything, sadly. So I think <laughs> my recommendation is that, uh, Flash, you uh, can I'm observe a little bit... A Sorry? I'm good at learning on a fly. Good, great, great, great. So uh, a few people here n learned a little bit about the story background. For example, uh, Olof recognized that we are stable people. Yeah. We're As in, in working city. in stable. Yeah. We're in a city of 500. Right? Yeah. Yes, and it's owned by uh, King Greg, who has absolute authority, giving out occupations to people. Yes, correct. Um, there's a pharmacist. There's a pharmacist in town that has been uh, using herbs and mushrooms and giving them out to us to feed to our animals, and mm -hmm. we have partaken some at some point. And we just see a harpa at the end of our shift of the stables. We noticed that we didn't see him in the morning, and we see him running naked <laughs> into yes. the forest. So, so, are we all like born and raised in this uh, in, in this town, or do we know anything of the world outside? Great question. You are all born and raised inside this town, and you do know a little bit here and there outside the borders. You live here, but you travel from the other small villages, but you usually come back because this is where like yeah. your house is. You're poor and you don't have much, so why leave? I mean, I, I'm just thinking so, since this this huge town of 500 people has a king mm -hmm. just by the name of Greg. I mean, it, it sounds more like a cult than a proper <laughs> so, 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 I want, so I wonder, do, do we have, like, do people come and go, or are... And they are merchants are, are and... They, are, huh? are they merchants? Okay, so merchants mean yes. they travel, but if they're, if it's not a sound 500 merchants, it could be that out of, outside of the merchants, the rest of the people aren't even allowed to leave. You, you are allowed to leave, but if you leave, you will also never be allowed to come back. If you leave permanently, that is. So you can you can leave and visit friends and such, or uh, you know go out in the woods and such. But if you leave and you don't show up again, you are removed from citizenship. Basically, that's that is Greg's law, and Greg's makes his own laws a little bit, however he wants to. So he can make a law <laughs> on a fly, like he's like, I don't like that plant. These plants are bad. That's the law. Yep, that's the law. Okay. Greg is also not from this town. You are all born here. You all, you, you almost know everyone in the town. One, so a he few became the king out of nowhere. Yes, he he came to this town with an army and said, "I'm the king, obey me." And those that didn't were killed. Is this so? Is this city the total of his kingdom, or uh, is it like you, are we living in Gregoria? Yeah, good question. You don't know. What's the right. name of the city? You know what, Gregoria. He changed it to Gregoria. Gregoria. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> okay. All right. And uh, right. and uh, Harpa, I'm just gonna ask yeah. how did you? How much did you see from the? In, what did you miss? Kinda. What did it flash out? 
for you? I mean, it's hard to say what I missed, but um, yeah, I saw uh, saw something about uh, like uh, what you said about a person running through the woods naked. Yeah, uh, and then it kind of cut. Okay, and some people some people saw him and such. I saw that. I did see that when I was going. When I was getting stuff ready. Yeah, great, great. You you should see that. I'm just gonna. Sorry, I'm gonna make people so, disappear. I'm gonna so I can do cool things. I can go do cool things like that. Did you all see like a you're in the dark? Yeah, I saw like you're in the dark. Cool. So give me a second. I'm just gonna talk two minutes to Stefan. Uh, they, they they can't hear us. Uh, so you woke up in the middle I can of the. Hear you. Can you still hear me? Can you all still hear me? I can hear you. Great. They can't hear us. Yeah. They shouldn't be able to hear us. I think they can hear each other. They can hear each other. That is cool. That's that's programmed. Uh, so yeah. you woke up in the middle of the night. If if anyone else but um, Stefan can hear me, do this. Okay, you're not doing that. So you woke up in the middle yeah. of the night. You don't actually remember anything, and you suddenly have blood on your body. Did you hear that? No. Oh no! I messed up your entire story. I think. Oh. <laughs> uh, okay. So so basically. You can recap it. Yeah, I can recap it. So you wake up. You wake up in the forest. You're naked. You have a torch next to you. You're feeling dizzy. You hear whispers of a strange language coming from from the woods, and uh, you don't feel. You don't have any injuries on you. There are blood on your body, but there are no wounds whatsoever. And and you don't remember who you are. You don't remember your name. And you stumble around in the dark for a while, and then suddenly you see three people with torches uh, coming at, coming uh, towards you. That is basically what you saw, what happened. Okay, so some weird language, uh, blood on me, and I'm not sure who I am. Yes. Will I realize who I am? Maybe, maybe. Okay. okay. You, you can try, you can absolutely try now and then. Yeah. I'm gonna bring the others back. All right, uh, sorry for all this. Yeah, we were just going over what we got. <laughs> cool, that's great. Yeah, you should be able to talk with each other inside that little special room. We were. It seems like Flash got a call. Yeah, that's fine. So, suddenly you you come out of the forest and we don't know exactly what your names are or your specialties, but you see uh, your friend that you saw running naked in the forest. Harpa is uh, standing there. Harpa, what are you doing? You don't have any clothes. Oh, are you drunk? Have my cloak around the, I give him my cloak that I have on, on me. Yeah. I probably presume I have a cloak. Y you have a cloak. You all have cloaks. All right. I, I, and, I, 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 I take the cloak and I wrap it around me. And I'm like, who are you guys? What do you want from me? And I say, are you cold, sir? Dude, <laughs> what yeah, the hell? <laughs> <laughs> I just I gave hand him a cloak. I, I'm going to hand him some water I, because I think he's thirsty. <laughs> I haven't yeah. really ever thought about it, but I take it <laughs> and drink a bit. Well, is that water actually water or is that liquor? No, oh, it's no. what it's water. Or you can give okay. him liquor if you want to, but I, you probably give oh, him no. water. Yeah. I go really uh, uncomfortably close to your face and just go, "Hey, hey, Harpa, what the fuck? What, what, you what want? are you doing? Who are, who are you? Hey, you, you dipped on morning work. <laughs> dipped on work today. I I don't know. I, I'm not sure what I'm doing here. I'm I'm not sure. Why, who who are you? Why are you here? Where, where am I? Who are your friends? Uh, and, in the forest. Naked in the woods. Uh, I, I, okay. I move even clo closer and try to smell his breath. He doesn't smell drunk. Does he smell anything at all? He, he smells different, but normal. <laughs> smells like he's been outside a long time. <laughs> uh, for a while. He doesn't... He, his feet aren't, like, destroyed. Like, normally if you walk around in forest barefoot, you should start to get bruisers and... It looks like something is developing, but he hasn't been out here for long. That's what you can tell. So, have you just woken up or something? What's this? Uh, yeah, I mean, I woke up like a bit over there, uh, and I was like covered in this blood, as you can see. And uh, I mean, I I heard some weird stuff, and then I just took off. I, is he actually covered in blood? Because that's not much, not, not much, but it's, it's dried. <laughs> All right. And, and he was carrying a torch, right? Yeah. I would like to say that you only notice the blood when he talks about it. Oh, yeah, there's like small blood marks, but it's not much blood. It's like scrub scrub wounds, kind of, now. It would look like it. So does he look hurt? Like, no. Are these his blood? Okay. How, so how, long, how long ago was this? 
Oh, you saw him like an hour, like 30 minutes ago. All right. So we've been following him for half an hour. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. It's, it's not that hard to follow someone that is running through the woods without a torch. No. You know. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> Uh, so, so Harpa, are what are we, who, who are you guys? Have you not seen your family all day or something? Uh, you... So, so uh, uh, Tris, uh, Harpa asked you a question and you asked uh, him uh, if he saw his family. What is your name and does Harpa have a, a family? Um, I'll go... Well, everyone's going with basic names. Oh, no, Harpa's, Harpa's fine. Uh, Nargum. Like that? Oh, it might be a delay. delay for you. Yeah, yeah, but you, <laughs> Nargum. So much delay. So much. So much delay. I, oh, see, no. I see it. Good. Uh, we, we, I think we have a delay for Tris, sadly, uh, for internet connections. Um, I'm just going to say N-A-R-G-O-N. Nargum. Okay. Does, uh, does Harpa have a family? And anyone can feel free to uh, answer it but Harpa. I would say he he does have a family. Probably his parents are, have become somewhat elderly. They're like they're a bit more merchants because they're older uh, and they can't really work too well in the stables or anywhere that needs heavy lifting. Uh, All right. He he also has a sister who's a total looker. <laughs> Are you are you in love with this total looker? I wouldn't call it love, but uh, I, I, I'm not uh, one who uh, who doesn't like stoop to catcalling occasionally. Yep. I see. What is your name, uh, by the way? Uh, I am Fiddle. Like like this or two these? Two two these. Two these. Okay. And uh, okay. and uh, Fiddle, why I am. Harpa also travels to the the castle sometimes. Um, you are all working the stables together, but sometimes he actually travels to the castle. Uh, why does he do this? I have no idea. All right. I mean, fine. I mean, I'm not, I'm not asking him. He has his business. All right. I mean, he he, he sometimes he bring brings back some uh, nice foodstuffs from the castle, and I'm not one complaining. And when he says that it's his business, I'm not the one interrogating him. I see. And uh, and Flash, uh, wh- what is this? Is a little bit in how characters can be created in this little short uh, yeah. short story adventure. Like, what form of name would you like to have? Uh, sweet ride. So- sorry. Sweet ride is Darius spelled backwards. Uh, oh, okay. I can I can. Yeah. Do that with one R. Yeah. S U I. R A D. Can you write it to me on Discord and I just copy paste it? I already I already have it. Oh, there. <laughs> There you go. Now, you're carrying something, Suiride, uh, with you all the time. What are you carrying with you all the time? I always carry me water. I carry me uh, torches, gasoline. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Fantasy adventure. No gasoline. Oh, no gasoline? Oh. No. I mean, like, I mean, like a little, not even in a little pouch. No. Gunpowder? Sorry. No gunpowder I mean, either. Yeah. Uh, well, something oil? for flame, something for flame yeah. torches. Uh, yeah, oil. Oil. Mm, could you extract oil from anything in this world? Uh, I mean, <laughs> l- lamp oil is to- totally med- yeah. medieval. Yeah, but is that hard yeah. to acquire? I'm not super knowledgeable about this. You can get. Can you get? You can get oil from the ground. Yeah, it should be able to. Sure, you've you've traded like a small <laughs> bottle of lamp oil. That yeah. should be possible oh, to acquire. Only a little bit can light a torch really good. Like yeah, if you, mm-hmm. that's fine. And um, I have those. A couple of uh, let's see. I just have a general. I have a general uh, bag of uh. I guess a bag of many things don't exist here, but like a backpack. <laughs> yeah, like a, yeah. of some sorts. Yeah, you're, you're carrying cool stuff. Yeah, I'm. I'm like. A, I'm like a. I'm sort of a mechanic. Uh, a mechanic and a. Uh, a makeshifter, like I can craft things. Think, uh, You're like a hand, handy worker, blacksmith, so handy, sudo. Handy you make like the yeah. horseshoes. Yeah. The horseshoes for the horses. Yeah. So you work with metal. So, yeah. uh, Fiddle, what is your specialty within the stables? I'm usually the one providing a good mood. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, and I'm Just also three. I'm also uh, making sure that people don't take this too serious. I'm <laughs> also the main the main. Uh, I mean, when we have like uh, exp- experimented with uh, the herbs and mushrooms and uh, getting ourselves uh, tied into that, I mean, I, I've been the one who's been. Uh, uh, like, I mean, I, I mean, I mean, I'm, I'm the one who took the initiative, and I'm the one who keeps pushing the boundaries. Okay. Uh, okay. And I, I'm see. also the one who, uh, like, when uh, <laughs> Suira like t- talks about go- going out and do different things, I'm the one who's, who's like more. This, no, this is no, starting no, to no, remind no. me of your previous uh, character we have not, seen before. Not at, not at all. Oh, I, not at all. <laughs> that <clears throat> has long forgotten. Yeah, I mean, sticks. <laughs> I mean, I I'm doing a good enough work. I mean, I'm, I'm not yep. I'm not some layabout, but at the same time, I think that we have it really sweet here. Uh, you like, like it? You like the setup Greg has done? Is Greg a is Greg a good uh, ruler in your opinion? I mean, I don't know anything about rulers, but uh, uh, I mean, I, I've known uh, hunger and cold, and I don't uh, have a problem with that anymore. Yep. So I think uh, this is a really sweet deal. Nice. So, Nargom, um, is there something you're always you're always carrying something with you as well? Um, what is that? Um, probably for me, uh, probably something that protects me. Maybe mm. either you were given armor like, by an old rel- relative. No, not like armor, but like a, a small dagger or, or like an amulet that makes me think of uh, my family that I yep. that was handed down to me. Oh, so you have inherited like an amulet or... Yeah, you, you, have, a, you have inherited a uh, very beautiful stone amulet from a, from your late relatives, so to say. Yep. All right. So now we have your names. Uh, now suddenly you can pre- introduce yourself, or I don't know, you maybe don't need to introduce yourself to an old friend because you all know each other, except Harpa just doesn't remember this. I'm a, I have something to say to Harper. Shoot. Harper, how you don't remember anything, friend? You have loving parents. We all are clearly friends with each other. And you also owe me a little bit of that OL from that <laughs> bet we had last week. <laughs> uh, I so remember if that. You're, if you, no, I don't. I don't <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> So if you're if you're just lose if you're just forgetting okay. things because you don't want to owe me that L back, then you got another <laughs> thing coming, sir. <laughs> I can't believe how 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 bad he missed that. <laughs> 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 and chas- yeah, I, I, challenging I, I, you to horseshoes it sucks. So, challenging <laughs> you to horseshoes. Bro. Uh. Hey, I mean, he's the one that challenged me to shoot toss, and he lost. <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 man, are you hurt? Do you have like hit your head or anything? I mean, I, I, I don't know, actually. Uh, you, you don't know if you're hurting. Are you? I have a little hammer that we can test to see if he's hurting anywhere. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> might as well. I know. I, I think yeah, I'll pass on that. Thank you. Anyway. No, but well, so, I don't know. I, I, your I, family must be worried oh. sick if you haven't been like here, like or with them, or like checking in. Usually, you just go straight home and talk to uh, to check on your folks. Oh, I have a family. Uh, okay, I I, I did not, not know this. So, well, uh, yeah. so do I know you guys? Yes, we all work at the same place. Oh. We okay. are practically brothers. Yeah, practically. Yeah, okay. practically. So, it just so happens like, some an brothers check or something like that. Also. Sorry, what did you say? Can I make like an insight check or something like that? Do I believe them? Oh. Uh, this is this is you feel you have no idea what they're talking about. Yeah. That was a very bad roll, by the way. Sorry. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, you should not. You should remember us. I remember. I remember all of us headed down to the creek when we were little and awesome stones. You know. I don't remember. Mm, I mean, no, th- this forest is all nice and dark and damp uh, and so. But uh, how about we move back to the city because 
I mean, we can be lost and confused and warm. That's possible. I agree. I'm, I mean, I think we should probably either take them back home or to the pharmacy. Uh, I'm not. I'm iffy about that pharmacy. Yeah. Yeah. So, Harpa, were you busy doing anything, or did you just run away because you felt I mean, like I, it? I, I, I heard this like really creepy voice, really creepy person talking to me, and I couldn't really understand him or her. But uh, I felt like some kind of presence there, so I took off, basically. It felt like it was not a really nice place to be. What, what, what wasn't a nice place to be? Where I mean, where, where, was I, was, where I w woke up, it felt like something bad was about to happen, so I, I, I left, basically. But then you woke up and then you still ran for half an hour with us. So I, woke show up, us? I, I woke up at that place. I mean, I, I don't know where I am. I have no idea. All right. You think a little bit about in the kind of direction you saw him and how he was heading. He was going in random little bit circle like this, but he was heading basically straight towards deeper forest. There, there's nothing in that direction. And you've been in that direction. It leads in miles and miles of forest and eventually leading to another village. So, so uh, well, do you remember uh, being inside? Like no. how it, what, what, what it's like? You don't, don't recall being... No. All right. Actually, so in, just... inside is, uh, if you imagine, uh, walls and the roof. I mean, I and know it's... what a house is. I'm not stupid. Yeah, okay. no, well, you could have fooled me. So, uh, <laughs> what do you say about uh, walking back to the village and continue this somewhere warm? And uh... yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, we yeah. should walk That's and good. talk, I guess. Ah, you you continue back to the to the town. And as you are approaching town, you suddenly start to see the, the typical night city lights of torches and such that are lighting up the streets. And some guards that are patrolling are still active. Uh, half the guards you all know because you grew up with them. They're like childhood friends. The rest of the half of the guards, you have no idea who they are. They are Greg's army he brought with him. And then he has recruited new new people. So, but you, you recognize oh. some of the guards. How yeah. long ago did the Greg the Conqueror... Uh, come here? Ten years ago. All right. So he's, he's been here for a while. And you've all seen him. He's a, a fat old man with no hair on his head, bald and long white beard. <laughs> he always walks around in a big robe. Th th does his he guards does. have families of their own or do they yes. mingle at all with the town folk? Uh, they have because... families of their own and they mingle. You've been in, in you know, the tavern uh, drinking with some of the guards and such. Because five five hundred people is not that many, so no, you, ten you, years. You, yeah, you, 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 re yeah, you kind of know everyone. There are, of course, like yeah. trading merchants that come here and leave and, and such, and other like tr past travelers. That, but that's it. You know pretty much everyone here. So, however, as you are approaching uh, and still talking a little sorry. bit about what uh, Harpa doesn't remember, and Harpa haven't, you don't remember this town at all. You suddenly see an uh, older woman you recognize, uh, Hirda walking alone in the dark uh, streets. Do I see her? You see her. Uh, she's, an, she's an older woman walking a little bit more bent forward and such. And she looks at you and goes a little bit, oh! Oh, I know you. But, what, but... What, what can I recall about her? <laughs> uh, no, you've never seen her before. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh... oh, you, you, you recall her. and fiddle and argom and swerda. Oh, have you seen my husband? I, he's, he didn't come home after his work. Uh, you know her, and you know her husband. Her husband is a guard. Uh, okay. Is he still on patrol, or did you have talk to the guard? No, so he usually stands at the gate guarding, but he hasn't come home after his shift. Did you speak to the, the head guard? Or I'm anything? going there right now to have a chat with them and see if they know anything if he went away. But I'm looking. But I don't know, maybe you've seen him. No, we mm. haven't seen him. We've been in the stables all day so far. Oh, I understand. Until just now, we had to help Harpa. Oh, what happened to Harpa? The, his mistress? No? Mistress? Uh, we don't know. Oh no, we do you think something like her. that? No, we are a happy family. I don't think he has a mistress, right? Have you seen anything? Has he been with a girl lately? Is that true? No, I haven't seen anything. 
Really? He has on my off days. He's got the wandering eye, but no, I haven't really. Oh. Well, what happened to you, Harpa? Why are you barefoot and covered just in a cloak? Uh, I mean, I kind of just woke up. Uh, I'm not sure what happened. I don't remember anything. Oh. I don't remember you or... You don't remember me? Well, we, we used no, to take I... care of each other when, when the, in the winter time. You know, we, we had some breakfast together sometimes. We are almost neighbors. Sorry. Our cookies are delicious. Yes, they are. Sorry, lady, I don't it... remember anything. Oh, that's so sure. horrible to hear. You know, something. you should be very careful with those mushrooms I keep seeing you eating. I know that you like it, but I don't think it's that very good for you. Mushrooms? Well, yeah, actually, mushrooms. They've, been, they've been starting to for us to feed them to the horses. I don't know what's oh. up with that. I don't think we should feed these mushrooms to those horses at all. I don't think so either. I don't think we should feed them, I don't I don't think we should feed them to anything. Oh. Some of them have been uh, acting a bit weird after they've taken them. But yeah, usually, that's uh, what I think too. An hour, hour or so, half an hour. Yeah. Oh, those mushrooms have always been here. We all know that they are always causing strange troubles for people. But once Greg came here, he wanted to investigate them, and then I don't really know anymore. <laughs> Anyhow, I hope you find some answers to you. But if you see my husband, would you like to just tell me or help him or something? And if you see him with a mistress, please kill the bitch. <laughs> uh, Whoa, lady. Before you, before you go, uh, uh, well, can I just ask you well, at least knock some sense into him if we if he has one. Yes, please tell me if you have one of those. Did you want to say ask me something, Harpa? Yeah, so have you ever heard about anyone taking these mushrooms losing their memory before? Oh, they lose everything eventually. It's horrible, but no. Oh. I've never seen anything. The worst thing I've seen is Fiddle walking around trying to, you know, <laughs> Mate, no, 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 now that's just not true, <laughs> lady. I mean, I, I don't know what I will, keep this on, between, but... I will keep this between us, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> we never talked to anybody not. about this. <laughs> how, did you see, how did you see this? <laughs> I, I see like, everything right, I... going around in this town. <laughs> and as, unless except you want to ask husband, her, right? yeah, and I accept my husband as extra husband, yeah. Uh, unless you want to ask her anything else, she is uh, wanting, uh, saying goodbye and wandering off. Yeah. All right. Uh, so you can right. go to so several different. Yeah, <laughs> you can go to several different places here. You know the entire town, so there's like three different taverns. There is the stable that you're all working at. There is the the pharmacy place where the uh, apothecaries are trying to work. And there's the, your homes. How do you? Where do you live? Do you live all like together in the stables, which is usually uh, possible? You can live like pretty nice there. Or do you have your own houses? Or do you live with your parents? Or do you have wives and things? I have a house. Uh, mm -hmm. I have a house with a a daughter and a son, but no wife. Oh. What happened to your wife? Well, fiddle. No, my wife. <laughs> no, no, not fiddle. <laughs> my wife. She used to work in the stable with us, and she one day That's was nice. making a hor making a horseshoe, and one of the one of the uh, supports for the sec for the ladder came oh. loose, and it came crashing down on her. So. Oh no! So she she's dead, so to say. Yeah, she's off. Yeah. Oh no! Like. She finito, <laughs> yeah. But you have a you have a son and a daughter. You said. Mm hmm. One, right. both from teenagers. Cool. And and Phil, where do you live or quarter? I mean, I I live I in have quarter. A... A different here. No, yeah. sorry. Uh, like close to the stables. I have my own small uh, room. I mean, mm -hmm. so. Um, it's oh yeah. Is this nice. is this a building that you have built yourself into the stable, or is this the house that? No, is, uh, like... I mean, I, I don't know the word in English, but like uh, the the the, the stable hands usually like have place to stay. I mean, horses need carrying even during the mm -hmm. night, so it's not like my shift ends and I go home. So okay, I see. And have I, you done anything I, uh, special no, no. with this? Have you like in? Um... I don't know what the word in English. Have you built something special for yourself, or have you like your own little mm. workshop here of some sort? I mean, the the guy who had the room before me, he was more of a builder than I was, so mm -hmm. I haven't really 
changed that much. Uh, I've gathered some stuff. Mm -hmm. I have a couple of uh, bottles of booze stashed away. Uh, and it's not like, I mean, I do, I, I do clean for a living more or less. So I, I keep tidy, but uh, yeah. it's really nothing. And uh, Nargom, where do you live? I would say uh, probably closer on the other side. It like takes me a while to get to to the stable mm -hmm. because I currently live with my parents, but my house has not been built yet. It's like halfway done, and then uh, I'm just so still waiting for it. Yeah, and it's and that that's just being built closer to the to the stables, and it's like I have to get money, raise some money to get. Yeah the wood and pay the workers and everything ah <laughs> uh, you're you're this is a house that's been given to you by greg eventually uh, not given to you but like this is a house that's gonna be yours as your working yes. citizen membership yes this decision and uh, and harpa will, was living with his parents i think you said i think that was what i remember he, yeah i'd say his parents are more elderly and he wants to live with them to take care yeah. of them more often does his sister also live with the parents I say that like, yeah. her house is close, close, right. but not too so, inside. Uh, so where do you all go now? Do you all go home to your houses, or I want to take Harpa home. All right. Do y'all do y'all want to come with me, Fiddle and Sir Zerad? Yeah. Sweet guy. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I think sure. we. I yeah, think sure. we should. Yeah, I think we should take him. Yeah, yeah. But before we take him home, honestly. We can took we can temporarily stop him by the stable to let our to just let work know, hey, we what's going on. You found him. And take him home. Okay. Yeah. You found a hard part. Who who is the boss at the stables? Is is someone of you the boss here? Is Fiddle the boss? Fiddle seems like someone that is at the place I mean, the most. I, I would um, say I'm the, like Fiddle. I'm the ju like the junior the manager man. or something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh yeah. So I mean, I, I, I would wouldn't call myself a boss, but uh, I'm the one who lives there. I'm the one who like. Uh, make, you're the most sure that the, you're the most knowledgeable person about horses. It seems as you're there mostly. Also, okay. I'm oh, I'm mainly the most known. No, uh, I know most about scheduling and the, right. <laughs> like yeah. making sure that. And I'm um, the and I'm usually the one, the, and I would call myself. The backbone, I usually fix and make everything to make sure stuff is going so everybody else has an easier time when they're there. Yeah. Uh, Suerda, you actually went travel to the blacksmith uh, section from time to time when you need some support. You, you know those people a little bit. Yeah. Better. Yeah, cool. Mm -hmm. So we all take uh, Harpa home. Um, his family, his, his sister opens the door and, Brother, where have you been all day? I don't know you, lady. I'm sorry. I don't remember anything. You don't know your own sister? What's gotten into you? You slob. <laughs> <laughs> I feel and like I tell her, hey, take, it <laughs> <laughs> take it easy <laughs> on him. Take it easy on him. Where have he had... Where has he been all day? You're supposed to be brothers and friends all that. And he looks at the three of you uh, like, with angry, her typical angry, furious eyes. We, hey, we had we nothing to do with this. Him. We had not, we had, we didn't know where he went. He missed more, uh, the work today. Um, usually he doesn't, and I know that. Well, I, I mean, know he didn't show up. I know pretty well that you're all always together. Those mushrooms and things, and all your little sneaking off and trying to ditch work. I know that even if Harp, you're saying Harpa did this on his own. I know that somewhere down the round, you are part of this. Yeah, I mean, it could be like that. Uh, I mean, he doesn't remember. I sure doesn't remember. So. Uh... Well, of course you don't remember. I, I smack, I smack Fiddle upside the head. I'm like, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> so, what matters now uh, is that we have brought him home, so that he can be in the loving care of your beautiful uh, self. Oh, thank now you. At does, least that, now doesn't that deserve a thank you? At least. <laughs> All right, Fiddle. Thank you for bringing my poor brother home. By the way, Fiddle, what is, the, what, is his, so what is his uh, sister's name? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, it can be Viola. Yeah. Viola. 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 <laughs> That's nice. That's uh, actually a nice one. Harpa, uh, your parents are much more uh, lovely compared to your sister. They greet you, they, they feed you. And it almost feels like they're the ones taking care of you, even though they are quite frail. Uh, you've never seen these 
people before, you don't re remember them at all. It feels very strange, but they're kind. And they, yeah. when they, they get really confused when they, even you don't know where your bed is and they like almost look a bit scared and point you in the right direction. Yeah, I mean, I I just try to like get some uh, get get out of their space. Just try to get some food in me and just get out of there. I want to be alone mm -hmm. for a bit and think about this. Cool. So uh, eventually, all of you go back home and you sleep, I guess. Or is there any strange spe special adventure? I don't think so. But I just want to ask. I mean, in I want case... I want to try to huh? like uh, go through, like go through my head like what happened. Like try to remember what what were, were, were those words that were spoken to me and can i like even though i cannot maybe understand them can i like recall them how did it sound and can i remember yeah. anything uh, uh you you remember it sounded like uh, something like that okay uh Roll probably linguistics. Yeah, before i i head home uh i ask one of my a friend, my guard friends about uh, Hilda's husband. As you look at the see dead corpse, you realize that that. this. In Sorry, what did you say? Probably before I had, before I head home, I ask um, one of the guard friends I know about uh, Hilda's husband and that they've gone missing. Oh yeah. Yep. And uh, next morning, uh, you all wake up as normal and you go to your usual. Uh, shores as normal. However, Harpa, you wake up and you don't really know your daily shores. And uh, what do you do? I mean, I will probably like get out of bed, grab some clothes, um, go out in the uh, like kitchen and see if anyone is there. Uh, no, uh, your your parents are there, but they're they're looking kindly at you. Say good morning, my son. Yeah, I'll probably grab some breakfast if there is some yep there there is no why don't you go to the tavern where the breakfast usually served she says oh okay um yeah i'll do that uh, where hmm? where is the tavern you don't know where your breakfast tavern is darling <laughs> uh no i kind of don't remember anything really but it's just you've always gone there so you don't remember <laughs> anything honey uh no i'm sorry oh but that was strange well, your sister is all well off to the woodcutting section, but oh, I'm still my young self, so I will take you there. And this old lady um, is trying to like guide you through the streets, and she's walking really slow. She's older than <coughs> uh, the old woman Hirda, mm. but eventually you reach the a big uh, like a long house where there's a usually a lot of people sitting, and uh, here you see your. The only people you recognize in this, in this entire room are your three friends from yesterday that are sitting at the same place. And by the way, yeah. Harpa is a bit late. Okay. Yeah, I'll just go there. Took you long enough, out. Harpa? <laughs> yeah. I say, calling him yeah. over to our table. Well, yeah. about time. Did you not lose your mind or something? Do you, do you still not I mean, remember anything? So. Yeah. Nope. And so? I and I and I look at Fiddle and I say, Fiddle, you can't talk about him being late. You still five minutes late. I mean, no. Since I'm the one who officially uh, starts up the working day, I am technically never late. So <laughs> it was you ah, who was early, okay. and that's uh, that's yeah, gonna be yeah. deducted from your pay. Yeah, yeah. But, sir, I'm always <laughs> 10 minutes early. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You are using our common facilities 10 minutes more than you're allowed. And that's not going to be free. I mean, but You're if I didn't, but you know, if I didn't do that, I, things wouldn't go correctly. I have to start it up hey, and this, warm things up. This tavern. <laughs> yeah. This, so, the place you're at currently so, is uh, um, your... Um, where everyone in the, the the town is kind of fed a breakfast, so yeah. you're all given so, breakfast for free. Um, so Harpa, mm -hmm. uh, just oh. uh, in, in order <laughs> oh, to make man. this uh, working day as uh, painless as possible, what do you Work. recall? Can you eat with a fork and knife? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey, did yeah. you dress uh, yourself? 
You know, this is the perfect time where <laughs> yeah. we just feed him his worst sh the stuff that he absolutely hates, you know? This is the time where we can just get him back for everything that he's done to us. <laughs> Let's yeah. let's make this uh, short and clean. Uh, you you understand the concept oh, of cities no. and streets and signs and things like that, and you truly understand language. Uh, you just don't remember who you are, your name, these people that claim to be your friends uh, or this town. Or your usual habits. Yeah. Yeah. So so he he has not he forgotten doesn't... to breathe. So so I mean, he, has he just forgotten like himself, who he is and what's his, but uh, but like his skills. He's still able to... You like, haven't tested. I... He, you haven't tested. And he has never been at the stable, so he wouldn't know. He, he didn't know his way here, for example. No. So, so Harpa, do you still remember how to juggle knives? Here, try. Were, were Harpa... Used... Were, <laughs> were, were, I have a, okay. Were Harpa actually no, no, no. good at juggling knives before when he... I have no, no, no idea, no, no. but uh, let's see. Okay. <laughs> I, I mean, oh, no, I want to make an inside <laughs> check because that seems very sketchy, and I know fiddle seems a bit uh, weird. Sorry, what did you? Sorry, I, what did you say, uh, Harpa? I, 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 lost I mean, I want to, I want to make a like an inside check because that feels a little bit sketchy, and fiddle seems a bit weird. Yeah, he he's, you f you think he's pulling a prank on you? Yeah, I'm like, no. Do you remember? Do you remember your sorry, favorite sorry. Best breakfast item? So if I told you, you would have to clean the hooves of a horse, would you know how to do that? Because I'm not going back and telling your <laughs> wonderful sister that you got your face kicked in because you couldn't remember how to do your work. I mean, if you show me, I'm sure if I've done it before, I'm sure it, it'll come back to me. Suddenly, I mean, that, that's not really uh, making me confident. Suddenly, <laughs> the, Sot, the the organizer of this uh, tavern, is coming up to you. And by the way, this is not really like a tavern. This is more like an organized structure run by Greg uh, that is providing. Yes. Sot is basically so, being uh, told provide food for these kind of people. And he comes up and he puts a plate down at your side, Harpa, and said, "Here you go." And he walks oh, off. Thank you. And that oh, goes into the mouth. Easy. Remember to chew. <laughs> yes, I don't just choke. Like, give him the finger. <laughs> and I start oh, all oh, right. That you recall. Okay, does, he okay. know, does he even know the concept of what this finger means, though? <laughs> uh, Harpa seems. Yeah, Harpa, you understand concepts of uh, um, reading between the lines and all, all yeah. sorts of social. Um, social uh, cues. Yeah, social cues. You understand all those. And, and, and like n now that we've been talking with him some, I mean, is he speaking as usual, like in his usual way, or is, does does he use like strange choice of words or things that makes us? Does he seem like regular? Uh, he's always been using the, this. He's everything he's been saying right now is how he's been speaking, and yeah. that isn't that far from how he's normally. But it's it sounds like he's confused. This is. It doesn't feel that like him, as, but then again, he's utterly confused and asking questions about everything. So yeah. it's like hard to understand. Uh, it, uh, you don't know how to evaluate it. Yeah. Sorry. Yep. I mean, so, I start eating. Yeah. I'm pretty hungry. Yeah. It tastes great. So after this, Harper, we're going to head over to the stable and I guess either Phil or me could show you around uh at least though <laughs> so i work with you guys yes yeah okay okay you work with us and so uh guys i realize that this is uh this whole situation is absolutely hilarious and we could do a lot of silly things to harpa and he wouldn't know better but still uh, we do have uh, a job to do, and uh, <laughs> Harpa, if any of these guys treat you uh, in a uh, less than respectful way, uh, well, just laugh at it, because I'm sure as hell is not going to do anything about it, but, uh, yep. <laughs> and, uh, uh, a We're doing it with love. Has apparently. Do you have any leadership skills, um, Fiddle? I mean... I'd say that yeah, in some some way. I mean, my this whole stable situation. I mean, it, it's 
it's not really a big business in, in that no. way. But uh, but like, I, I, I'd say that some some kind of uh, authority uh, over the stables, so to say. I mean, and, and I suppose there's there's some uh, like supervisor or, or something from the castle who who I keep have some dialogue with so, because this is the the only stable. Like mm -hmm. this is the royal stables. Yes. And uh, the <laughs> his Majesty they need us. Greg they need the First us. royal horses are in this stable. I mean yeah. that's so. So I, I so I mean yeah. There is probably more than just the four of us working here. Um, yeah, there's more. Yeah, there's more people. But I'm like I'm Fiddle's right hand man. Um, I take yeah. care of most of the things to make everyone's jobs easy. And the castle, mm -hmm. the the kingdom needs us. Like I know, we, I know the king does. So they make sure that we're paid, not handsomely, but enough to get by and have a breathe, a little bit of breathing room. You don't really yeah. pay that much at all, actually. Sadly, you're. Well, you're... I mean, it is not enough, but we're not struggling. I wouldn't no, say we're no. struggling. Like you, yeah. you were give, you're giving yeah. this food for free, so to say. Uh huh. Actually, yeah. actually, fiddle. Do you know if Harpa goes to the castle today? Uh, he uh... doesn't. It's in your schedule, but he doesn't. You have Please a schedule don't on when. Go, don't sit. I think we need to find a replacement. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it'll be bad. It'll be bad if, uh, if today is hard uh, to go into the castle. I mean, at the same time, uh, we've never really uh, gotten to know what it is that he actually do. So I mean, I can't really just send one of you guys. Hopefully, I mean, we send him there, and someone else will tell him what to do, and it won't be on our hands. So, so are you? Uh, yeah. Yep. Are you going so, back so just, to your stables? Back? I mean, it's oh, sorry, it's a working you... day when we work there. So yeah, Fiddle would be going back. Us would be going to our first. Yeah. I, I will. I will be. I will be gone as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you all, uh, you all tug up and you start walking back to the stables. As you're walking in the corridor, the innkeeper suddenly walks up yeah. to you, we'll, we'll puts a key to into your hand yeah. and whisper into your ear. He never looked into your eyes so, and then he walks away. Yeah. You now Anything have a key when we in your there? hand, a very small but sturdy iron key. Because if not, uh, I take Harper along and try to reintroduce him to work. Mm -hmm. So you you reach the stables um, and uh, uh, you have your daily chores. You're cleaning horses. You're removing dirt from uh, horses' things, and um, so that you fix horse shoes that have been broken and such. And uh, it's a pretty pretty big place. There are lots of different levels, and you you tend to maybe like. 50 horses here, so it's a, it's a big job. And you have other people coming in, in here as well. But you're, you're like a, a tight group of friends that usually yeah. stick together. But then you have like people you can go, hey, Mark, come here, help me, and such, if you need what to. What up, Cameron? Yeah. <laughs> Monty, I need you over here today. You're gonna be specifically keeping this fire hot so I can make these horseshoes. <laughs> If if you need any if you need anything to drink, Chris will get the drinks for you. Chris, you're gonna get all of us drinks, and if we need extra stuff, you grab it. You're our grab it person today. <laughs> so uh, is Chris the one that's going to the well and fetching all the water all the time? Yes, he's our water boy. All right, all right. <laughs> so uh, what does Harpa usually do in the stables? What is his job? Except anyone but Harpa can answer this. I'd say Fiddle knows more about what Harper does. Yeah, um, Fiddle does. Yeah. So I mean, Harper is like uh, we we go way back, well, or not way way, but uh, we, we've been friends for some time, and he's he, he's like the, the the guy who I send to do things like n not not like uh, Suvira, so who's uh, actually have a couple of tasks and responsibilities. Harper is more like my go between. And uh, mm -hmm. mainly, as I said, I mean, I, I'm I mean, serious with work and not lay about, but at the same time, I I do uh, tell other people what they should be doing. And uh, so, so me and her, so, so, so I usually have quite a lot of spare time. And uh, well, I usually make sure that Harper has as well, so we can mm -hmm. 
so, so he, he doesn't really have a main okay. area of expertise, at, at least not in uh, as concerns with to work. So he's an, like an all-around guy, knows a little bit of everything here, but he's not a specialist, so to say. Yeah. Uh, and he has this this thing he does with the castle, and uh, he hasn't ever really told me about it. So I suppose that would be his specialty, whatever oh, yeah. thing he does for the folks up high. Yep, yep. He's been acting all mysterious about it. And yeah. I don't I, and I don't want to like uh, I mean if that's if that's it's it's very you know bad. commoners know to not meddle in the nobility's business. It usually exactly. ends pretty bad. So so when was the last time I actually went to the castle? Well as you don't remember much yeah. you don't remember ever being at the castle. Uh yeah. I would I mean, say I, I probably heard people talk about it. Oh, yeah, oh sorry, I, oh sorry, sorry. I I thought Fiddle. you asked me, sorry. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, Fiddle. So, uh, when is the last time I actually went to the castle? I take a look at the itinerary, and uh, is it... Uh, guys, uh, you can keep on talking, I'm just gonna be right back. Yeah. It was some time ago, some uh, but time. The, okay. what matters now is that uh, today you have an appointment in a couple of hours, so... Okay. Uh, what am you... I supposed to do? I have absolutely no idea. So, uh, Naga, uh, do you have any... Uh, what do you know about people losing memory? Uh, I don't I don't know anything about that, but... Right, uh, I'm back. So I think it, if it, we show him things that he know, that he should know, should remember, it might bring him back his memories. About what's what's been uh, happening. Maybe if we take him back to the place uh, where he woke up, maybe that will trigger something. I'm not too sure. I mean, is it like when you have the hiccups, you're supposed to get really frightened uh, suddenly? You think that's something that could work? Like try to shock, shock him away? I, I think something. I think a strong memory. Maybe frightening him uh, in that manner. Maybe that will bring it back. I'm not too sure. I mean, and we don't know for a fact, Harpa, that you were went stripping yesterday. Uh, might be, uh, uh, but uh, perhaps we can, uh, if you eat some more of these magical mushrooms, and see what happens. Perhaps that can. No, 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 no. Get you away. <laughs> You have a lot of these <laughs> magical mushrooms, so to say, here. Yeah. Hey, these aren't these for the horses today. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they're they are supposed to be for the horses, but sometimes you guys want to have a little bit of fun, and then you 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 know you do you and and. So do I actually know what the mushrooms do, or? No, you don't remember these mushrooms. Okay. And so, uh, I mean, so do you know? Sorry, Harpa. Uh, I, 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 um, I say to Fiddle and uh, Nargon, like, oh. uh, uh, do you think it's good if I take them, like the mushrooms? I, Are they good? I personally don't think it'll help. I think it'll just make you more delirious, make it harder for I... you to remember stuff that you don't know. Mm. I'm not too sure. I'd say that if uh, if your memory have hasn't come back, uh, like when you come back from the castle, I think we can try it. But since we don't know what you actually do, I don't think it's that a good idea for you to be uh, high there, since yeah. you're not supposed oh, to eat the they're mushrooms. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, and I think if they do find out that we've been sneaking a bit off the top. They yeah. will punish us. Uh, so, do you take a look at these drugs, uh, Harpa? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, these drug these these are mushrooms that you can you can get pretty yep. hallu hallucinated on. Uh, however, mm. if you boil them, uh, you can remove the substance uh, because the the substance gets out in a small little uh, purse that you can just take out and separate and make powder with that can get really powerful. So, when we feed the horses, do we just feed them the mushrooms, or do we do this whole boiling no. and... Yes, but the, you have, no, no, no one does the... everyone just eats mushrooms. The pharmacist right. doesn't do anything this. So, so, so how, how do we know uh, that, that we can do this powder and... Uh, Harpa knows this. Alright, okay. 
<laughs> Does the rest of us know that? No. Nope. All right. Okay. No. I, I mean, I, I share with other guys. Like, yeah. so do, do, do you guys know that you could do this kind of stuff with the mushrooms? No, I didn't. I, pretty... I never even thought of that. Usually, usually the farmers like go by the rules and just feed them. <laughs> but so, mm. what? But it's... if you if you've known this all the time, why do we still just eat it then? Also, why is it that only you know about cooking them too, and not anything about y you, like yourself? I don't know. Also, why haven't you told about this before? You're saying it I mean, has a just, lot better punch. I mean, I just realized I didn't know. I mean, we can try it if you want to. No, 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 no. Um, <laughs> say, say it for me. But uh... fun is enough. <laughs> I, but I don't that's... Really like it. You, you don't? It was uh, in our collective backstory. <laughs> I, I tried it once or twice with y'all. I didn't really like it. <laughs> right. I suppose this is the hour of confession then. Uh, you got anything to share with the group, Swirod? Okay. He's working right now, isn't he? Or I'm working. Banging oh, on, banging All on right. horseshoes. Barely can't even hear it. <laughs> I mean, I'm ahead. I'm ahead on schedule on some things. I would try to get it done early. Do you all go to your work, so to say, here then, or? Yeah, I basically yeah. had to. Like, yeah. My shift. Yeah. As you're all disappearing to your different work tasks, uh, Harpa, do you do? What, do you also try to join in in this? I mean, I, I, I take um, him no, around. I, mean, and... I, I don't really know what to do, and I'm not really that interested, to be honest. Um, no. So I'm, I'm, I was kind of curious about that uh, mushroom thing, and I was like thinking about the whole process of how it would work. Do I think I would be able to make it, or is it? Complex? You need some. You need some tools, but yeah, you could maybe do it. Mm. Would it be like a hard thing to do, or like would it take a long time? Or? It would take a. It would take time, and it's a very precious work because you need to sit there and like pick out specific parts that you boil out. Uh, right. But you could. You could do it. Uh, but, but it would take time, and you need equipment. You need small, pre pre uh, very precise instruments, so to say, as well. Right. Um, yeah, and then I, I guess I would follow Fiddle around and uh, kind of listen to what he says, but not really. All right. I mean, yeah, the, the, I, I, no, I, I'm just tr trying to determine, like, what does he remember? Can he, is his performance lacking? You're you're putting him to some basic tasks, and he d doesn't do that well, so to say. He he seems like a beginner, even though he's a veteran normally. Well, well, well. Mm hmm. I gra I I, I uh, like uh, when 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 that becomes obvious, I give him a broom and tell him to just uh, go brush the floor. Mm hmm. Yeah, and I, I do for a bit, and then I start to like look around. Not, I'm not really interested anymore. So try yep. to start to look around and see if I can see something weird. All right, give me a, a second, everyone. I'm gonna make it disappear. Okay, they can't hear us, and if you can hear us, do this. If you can't hear us, do nothing. Great, they can't hear us. Should I be able to hear you? Yeah, you should be able to hear me. Okay, good. <laughs> so, what do you want to do? It can be pretty quick, so I'm gonna bring them back. But do you want to ditch this place? Or do you want to stay okay. here? I, you're you're uh, looking around for something interesting. Do you? Oh, right. You don't see uh, anything that's interesting at all. So actually, all this is pretty normal. No, I think I would actually like to do. I mean, I don't think um, I would probably want to have a look around in the city and see, um, like in the town, and see if I can see something. So you 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 wander off, so to say. Um. Yeah, I think so. Do you want wander off sneakily, or do you want you go tell them, or no? I will sneak off. All right, cool. I, I mean, mean, I still doesn't. I mm -hmm. still don't really trust them. All right, cool. I mean, it's not a stretch to think that uh, that's right, related but... to what he does in the castle. All right. Uh, oh yeah. But by the way, since you notice, you can talk with each other and such. And I. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you are all alone inside that room. Uh, whenever you see that picture, with others of that. Okay. Um, during the day, 
as your Nor can, can hear us. Yeah, everyone can hear about me, right? Yeah. Or uh, sorry, I don't think he can, he can speak. I'm still oh, in dark. Who oh, can okay. still in the No, dark. everyone can. Everyone can speak. Everyone can speak. Uh, Sverda, as you are standing there, you're hammering on your stuff, and you're walking out to collect more uh, materials for your work at the usual blacksmith stuff. You notice as you're walking around that uh, Harpa is gone. And I look and I say, where's Harper? Fiddle? I, uh, yeah, I gave him a broom. I suppose he's brooming somewhere. Or uh, is, it, is it his there's appointment not many... in the castle by now? There's, I was like, there's Most... definitely not many places to broom. Most? Is, is it his time to go to the castle yet? No, tomorrow. 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 <sighs> All right, so... Uh, Harper's, Harper's missing? Yeah. I mean, here we go. Uh, uh, That's really irresponsible I'm, of him. I'm going to ask around to one of the guys that are nearby, see if they saw where he was going. Ask Chris yeah. first, because he's usually the one that's all constantly in and out of the building, so he'll probably see more than most of us. No one seems... To, after walking around and talking to everyone, uh, no one seems to know where he is. Christopher says that he saw him standing there brewing, and then him and the brew was gone. Perhaps he, he took the brew away. <laughs> I mean, he could have at least left the brew. We still need that. Yeah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> So just how sure. uh, like we can't can can all of us just go out looking for him? I mean, we do have a job to do. I mean, you okay. you are supposed uh, like fiddle. Your job is supposed to be like deliver all the 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 shores that you receive on on uh, deliver. Like you you receive someone saying yeah. this is what you're gonna deliver. Deliver yeah. or else. And as long as you do that, you can do whatever you want on your spare time if you're working really fast. So where are we on the to-do list for the day? You're kind of are fine. We, you're, you're kind of fine. keeping up. Yeah, you're kind of keeping up. So well, I think I can uh, assign some some more work to some of the other you, guys. You, if you need. can also we in can stressful time. needs acquire help from like local friends. Like for example, Sirda could go to the blacksmith guys and like get some of them over to maybe help out. That's that's something that happens from time to time. Sometimes Sirda goes over to the blacksmith guys. When they are in a pinch, so it's it's like solvable here. If yeah, there is no um, like uh, royal hunting trip or something planned for the day. Sorry, sorry. I mean, the, 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 there's nothing planned. Like uh, the king is not going to use his horses. Oh no, no, there's no. none of, none of that. Don't worry. All right. Since uh, it seems like we have the time, I think we should just go and fetch him. Don't let him run off in, in the woods again. I don't want a repeat of last night. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. But, uh, so, let's go and find him. That, uh, Fiddle, I think you need to sign a bit more work to some of the other guys if, if we're going to be gone for the time being. So where, where are we on, uh, and, and this is an off question, where are we on like splitting the party? Because uh, the logical way of looking for a guy in a city of 500 is splitting up. <laughs> I, as you notice, I can put people on secret rooms, but I'm not going to do that. So if you want to split no. up, all we, you, will, you are going to acquire information, but however, you're going to share this information. So don't worry about it. Yeah. There will be no, small I, I, private I, sessions where you basically sit and listen. And, I, I, and I'm, I'm, I'm mainly thinking, I mean, it's, it's your channel. How do you, yeah. do you think? I mean, it, 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 things can drag on if everyone is doing their own side plot. Yeah, if, if things start to drag on, I will start to like, this is the information you've been given, move on. So All right. don't, don't worry. I, okay. I'm going to be a dictatorship saying here is enough. But you, you, can, you can investigate a lot here if you want I, to. I'll, then I'll go and see whether or not he has gone to visit his, his sister. All right. Are you going there alone or are you, you're splitting up now? I, I'm getting a feeling. Yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. there's really no, no reason for us to move as a party. His We're sister is at, at the woodcutter section and like a hunter uh, section, actually. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Nargom, uh, where are you searching? Are you searching with 
Siruda or are you searching alone? I'm guessing you're all searching a little bit alone here. Uh, I think I am going over to the merchant part of town to see mm-hmm. if, uh, to check in on the stall where his mother and father work at. All right. See if they've seen them. All right. And uh, Suirda, where are you uh, heading? All right. Um, I'm heading towards the blacksmith. Okay. To see what all, uh, see everybody from the the blacksmith's guild knows anything. All right. So uh, let's start with uh, Nargom. You you head off and uh, yep. You reach his family house. You said the the stand that they have in the merchant part of town. Merchant yeah. Town, not, uh, oh, his far- his parents are home. They are too old. But you can go to the merchant side old. anyway. Um, I'll check that their house then. Okay, you come out to uh, his house, and you see his parents, they are a little bit, Oh, Nargom, how are you? Is is Harpa doing better? Uh, Harpa is doing worse. He has left the stable while working, and we do not know where he went. Oh no, I should. we should go look for him then. And you see how these old people are starting to, like, get their clothes on. Uh, I don't really want to worry y'all that much, but do y'all know any place that he'd probably had go, go, go to? Doesn't he usually go to the castle for errands? Uh, Maybe that's the way... He, yeah, he, that must be it. He goes to the castle, but he's not scheduled for the castle today. Oh, I see. Well, his sister may be, then. They don't, they don't really seem to know much here. Uh, y'all can go make a report over at the guard place, I guess, to see if uh, they can round up some people to look for him. All right, so you, you go, you go to the guards after this, okay? Yeah. Fiddle, uh, you reach the woodcutting section, and where like hunters work together and form parties, and sometimes they actually have horses here because they hunt with horses sometimes. And here is where his sister would be. Do I see her? Yes, she's she's there. Yeah, I w- w- wave at her. Oh. Hi, Fiddle. Hi, sweet cheeks. You Hi, don't Fiddle. happen to have seen your brother loafing around? No. What has he done now? I don't know. Uh, he, his, uh, I mean, his head was still a bit uh, last night. No. Oh. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Mm, yeah. Uh, so he seemed a bit confused and uh, got lost while brooming. So I figured. How can you get lost by have... brooming? Oh, yeah. Don't my brother. Uh, Never mind. No. Yeah. So I just uh, thought that perhaps he come here to visit, but uh, well. Why would he come here? Oh yeah. I have my no sister. idea. But, uh... He always runs here when I need. No, sorry. Mm. I don't know where he is. Does he go to the castle all, from time to time? Uh, time to time. Uh, there's. I suppose you can. W- w- I could send word for him, but uh, I mean, I, I'm not the one who just uh, goes on and knock to His Majesty's chambers and uh, ask whether no, or not he's seen. No, that's true. But maybe the guards. I mean, we have some friends in the guards. Maybe they've seen him. They always patrol things, right? Couldn't we ask them? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, he'll probably turn up. But uh, thinking that he's a bit confused. Uh, I- yeah, that's true. Might be. I have a lot of things to do, actually. Do you think you need me? Mm, I don't know. Uh, I'll, 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 I'll stay here for a while, see if it shows up. Oh, you don't really need to stay here. Fiddle. No, ah, I know, but uh, I, I'm just thinking that uh, he might come here, so I, I, I better... Well, if you're gonna stay here, here's an axe for you. And, well, we have a lot of wood to cut because... Well, winter is coming and it's gonna be cold and people want wood to burn in the winter, so... You don't, you don't have to convince me. I, I, gra- I grab the axe and uh, flex a bit and uh, make, make sure to be in the... Yeah, she does look at you a, while, a few times when you are working out. <laughs> and this uh, is... Yeah. Uh, Suerda, meanwhile, you're walking towards the blacksmith uh, guys, right? Yeah. All right. As you're uh, walking the streets, you need to go closer towards town. Eventually, you look through a, a, um, a street corner and you see down in the alley a foot, a naked foot, lying there. And then there's like uh, some cover blankets that's covering up. And there's a lot of stuff in there, but you see a foot. A naked foot. A naked foot. Is it attached to a body? Or is it just a foot? <laughs> Right now, I don't want to touch no cursed items now. <laughs> <laughs> the cursed toe. <laughs> I go and I go ahead and I uh, 
I take a hammer. I mm -hmm. take one of my little miniature uh, hammers and uh, I pop the toe lightly. I, it's not nothing happens. It's a very stiff toe. All right. I take use the back of the hammer mm -hmm. and I I leverage it and pull it back. How do you mean pull it back? Like like you you know how you, when you pull a the pull a top of a can the same way pull it back. What do you mean with like uh, hit, like oh, the top uh, and you take it and you oh just, you push it like that oh yeah. Uh, yeah, it no, back. it's very stiff, really stiff, and uh, you know, you've probably seen a dead person in your life, and this reminds you of that. So per perhaps I didn't listen when you described the scene first, but is it uh, is it a cut off foot? No, or... it continues inwards. There's stuff, blankets, and things that is covering. All right, so, so it's it's a leg like showing yeah, out, sticking could... out of a yeah, yeah, it, yeah, yeah. My bad, <laughs> but no, Surda, you you've. This feels dead, like dead foot. Okay, Nargom is just taking a pause, so that's fine. Sweda? Flash? No, you talking to... Oh, you, I thought you was talking to me. Yeah, 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 I'm oh. talking to you. Okay, so... What happens when I did the uh, peel back? Because I was uh, actually cleaning. Oh, uh, sorry. So, you, you fe it feels dead. You Somewhere, you pro your character has probably seen a corpse. And people oh, die and such. Oh, it's dead, dead. Okay. Yeah, this is dead. But it continues inward. Like, uh, Fiddle asked, it it's continues of a leg. There, there are blankets and things that are covering up the body, so to say. So, it, it's a pile of rubble with a foot sticking out of it. Exactly. Okay, okay so, uh, I immediately get a guard and let them know I see a dead body. The, the guard comes over and it, he starts to panic a little bit and suddenly uh, screams are going on. And, From uh, multiple people? Uh, not like, yeah, multiple people as like, dead person. And then suddenly people are walking over, dead person? And then it's such like oh. a chain reaction. And this guard didn't really handle the situation that well. Suddenly more he guards are coming. He under control. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And uh, Harpa. You suddenly hear a lot of scream. You've been walking around in town, and we will get to that in a second. However, you suddenly hear a lot of screams. Or screams, but like, you know, loud voices. <sighs> okay. Nargum, you also hear this. It's uh, coming from far away. And uh, Fiddle, you also... You, you don't really hear a lot of noise, Fiddle, but you hear you see a lot of people moving inwards towards town. Oh uh, no, something must have happened. Yes. So Harpa, is this something you're moving towards, or do you continue with your other project? Um, I mean, I think I will actually continue with my other project. I All don't right. think I will move towards that. All right. Fiddle, is this something you're moving towards? Or do you stay I mean, flexing your muscles here in front of Harpa's? I, I mean, is it like a lot? I mean, I, 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 I find it difficult to imagine. Like, are people like moving towards the city? Like, is it? Yeah, it like, seems to be like a gathering in town. Like normally, sometimes Greg makes announcements and such, and on that pedestal and saying things. But this, this seems like something similar. I mean, I, I'll, uh, I ask like. Where are you going? What's happening? Oh, there seems to be something happening in town. I'm gonna go look. And people's curiosity is taking the better. Don't you them. guys have a job to do? Yeah, but everyone's Come ditching on, it right now. And then they run off. <laughs> yeah, I mean, th th does uh, Viola uh, run off as well? I mean, then I suppose I'll make sure nothing bad happens. Uh, but I'm basically... Yeah, she, she, runs, so. she runs off too. I'm guessing they think it's like an announcement or something. Or something. Uh, so you all, all of the three of you gather there together with a large group and uh, everyone is like pushing a little bit forward trying to see the guards are pushing back but uh, Surda is standing in there and gets a first eyesight and uh, um, this isn't done so professional. You can also see from afar even though Surda is seeing a little bit better that the blanket is throwing off and you see a naked person uh, lying there in the rubble, with his eyes open, staring straight towards the sky. You all, you all recognize, you yeah, you all recognize him. This is a friend of yours. This is a guard. This is Hirda's husband. The the woman that you saw uh, yesterday's night asking around if you had seen her husband. This is him. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, my uh, God. Sirda, uh, you can all now see how Greg is approaching this uh, situation. 
and how guards Shit, like yeah moving away and right. you're being a little bit pushed out towards your the friends so you're no longer standing next to the body you're now standing in the crowd with your friends all right uh, back to work guys the king is here and we do not have a break so so i go straight I, to here then. i hear that is crying I, her, her tears I are do. like falling down here also she's there sorry you had food in your money what did you say <laughs> so she's there you saying that? Yes, she's yeah, there. she's she's there. She's there. I go and give her a hug. Uh, oh yeah. I also see see Hilda <laughs> trying to console her. Yeah, she's really she's really she's heartbroken and everything. If, if you need any help, like just ask. So oh, thank you. Thank you. I think I'm gonna go and visit a tavern, or I don't know. But thank you, thank you. Who would do such a thing? Actually, this seems pretty similar to what happened to Harv. Uh, naked and just left. And that's it. Yep. Yeah. I mean, something's fishy. Something's fishy going around, going on around here. Yep. I mean, aren't you jumping to conclusions a bit? I mean, he might have been robbed. I mean, it's not the first time people are found dead. Well, since uh, the the, you the look, dead person is now different. being uh, carried by guards uh, to the pharmacist uh, um, building and uh, with Do great orders. Any like puncture wounds or like stab wounds or like mm, no. massive amounts of blood? He, he seems sem simply dead, but there are blood a little bit here and there on his body, uh, but you don't, I mean, don't see are, any injuries. Are, are we close enough to get a proper look at it? Uh, yeah. You do, you do see something. Um, I'm gonna uh, be right back real quick. Sure. Uh, doesn't there's there? You don't see much of an. He's dead. Strangely, corpse. I mean, so so this apothecary. He, he's not uh, like uh, he, he's not, he, yeah. Pharma. The, the oh, pharmacist. Uh, I mean, uh, <laughs> does he live in the castle? Is he like the? No, they are a group of like seven people that here. are pharmacists that are working outside uh, the castle in a smaller building. All right. All right. Is though are those usually the guys who like perform autopsies or take care of bodies? No one really does that here, but they're I supposed mean, to be smart. Yes. So I mean, no. <laughs> how is uh, this? Uh, fantasy uh, setting i mean are there religions what's the way of uh, caring for the dead uh, pretty much burial uh, yes normal uh, burial so to say like there's great religion <laughs> i yeah. mean i mean is it is it like i mean burial is a religious right uh, do we, do there's a, probably a graveyard yeah you, you have a graveyard you can you can bury people they are they are religion but they are nothing like big religious uh, like there's not a big, big religion religious organization people believe in oh. gods they claim exist and some people have there's a lot of different claims of different gods so so just just the fact that he gets moved towards like uh, the, the the pharmacy it is that it's strange, strange or... yeah that is strange that is that is that is out of the ordinary so uh, do i see harpa anywhere no nope, you don't meanwhile talking about harpa um where are you heading do you want to take this private or of it all can uh, you yeah, hear for now okay for now so short moment or maybe longer they they can't hear us if they can hear us wave your hands you can hear me great so you hear a lot of commotion. You've been wandering around. What have? What is your aim yeah. for the moment? I mean, the innkeeper just gave me the weird key. I thought it that did. was really odd. It uh, was. So I, mean, I want to go and investigate that that stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, so I want to go back to the uh, to the inn basically and see the same guy. Uh, yeah, he okay. he's he's standing there. Uh, suit that is. He's not alone though. Yeah. Okay. I mean now uh, I'm like sitting down and i want to like call him over so i can talk to him he comes over yeah. where do you speak that language i mean don't you speak common or english <laughs> of course i speak english how can i help you never mind I, I'm, it's just a it's just a strange throat thing here so to say so uh do you i mean you you gave me a key this morning what, what's that about oh it's oh it's uh maybe i gave dropped it in your uh yeah it's keys for the stables you still uh, have I it mean, i want to make an insight yeah i, I want to make an insight check 
What do you want to know about? Uh, does he seem honest or does he try to lie or is it, he seems kind of weird? Uh, it's hard to tell, say. He's, he seems honest, but he seems weird too. Like a combination okay. of both. Um, okay, so the key is for the stables or what's, what's it for? I don't know. I, I I thought you was gonna give it to Fiddle. I was I was in a hurry, so I I had to give the key to someone. Oh, and so you work at the you work at the stables, right? You do, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So so the key is for Fiddle. Oh yeah. Oh, well, uh, what's it for? Uh, a Fiddle. Fiddle should know. Oh, okay. But by the way, uh, you don't seem to remember much. Is that correct? Yeah, I mean, I'm not sure. I don't remember you, or I don't remember anything about the city. Uh, oh. I woke up the forest naked yesterday, and then oh. uh, and then um, stuff just happens to me, basically. He he looks around like this, like this, and it's, it's, you seem to be quite alone. This is a large guy, by the way. Mm. Did you hear? Did, what did you? What were you doing in the forest? I mean, I don't know. I woke up there. Do you know anything? No, no, I don't. So you don't remember who you are? No, not really. All right. People say um, my name is Harper, but I, I honestly, I don't know. All right. I don't seem to have my old skills that I had before, so I'm not sure what happened. He, suddenly a knife is being thrown at you. Like it's it's flying in the air like like this. And this okay. could hurt you. It's, it's coming like a point end towards your belly here. Can I catch it? Yeah. You, you catch it in the air perfectly, like like this. Okay. What are you good at? I don't know. Well, Suddenly he... Who threw the knife? Was it him? Yeah, he, he threw the knife. He, he made like a, a quick toss of knife in the air. That was, like almost like a juggling well, knife thing. Yeah, I, I don't know. Why, why did you do that? Let you me see I mean? your neck if it's okay. Can I see your neck? Um, I guess. <laughs> he, he grabs you here. And, and tweaks it to the side, and he tweaks mm. it back and looks at the other side. Is that you, brother? Serda? What happened to you? No, you don't. Mm -hmm. Okay, you seem kind of weird. What is, what's going on? And we'll... With Serda. We can uh, we can take a pause there, and we're gonna bring the other yeah. guys back. If the... All right. Same thing as that. You're all back. Uh, you, right, don't you don't see Harpa anywhere currently. Um, right. Well, I was moving towards the guards, right? To the uh, guard place. I was going to ask the guards to search for Harpa. Why would we search for Harpa? We have a murder case. Uh, here. He went. He went missing a little while ago. Wait, are there more people missing? Like dead people? Because we re we heard reports of Hirda that this guard of ours were reported missing yesterday, and now he shows up in a ditch found by your friend. Are you saying there are more people missing? There might be. Harpa yesterday went missing, and we found him in the, the forest, running. Oh, uh, why? He doesn't... We don't know. He was naked and running, kind of kind of in the similar state as this guy, the guy that just died. But alive, honestly. I see. But he's fine then, right? Or what, is, what, he what did you do with him? Himself. What do you mean uh, he doesn't remember we, himself? We took him home that night, and then this morning he came to work and suddenly left in the middle of it. Why did he leave? He's supposed to work, right? He's supposed to work, but he didn't really know what to do, and uh, Fiddle just gave him a sleeping task, and he didn't even do all of it. Well, I don't know anything about that. Well, we could search for him, I guess, but we have... Well, we're gonna search the town anyway, so... We, I guess we could look out for Harpa as well during the search. Yeah. The Just guards report seems, yep. to the stable if, when, if you find anything or if you see him, bring him back to the stable. Yeah, we'll bring him back safely. He shouldn't be in a hurry. You think he's hurt? He didn't look hurt. All right. It's just that he doesn't really remember himself. That's the thing. All right. That's the only thing. Well, we will, we will find him for you. Don't worry. Hopefully, there won't be more dead people showing up in ditches here and there. That's what you get from the guard. They seem to be starting to patrol and search the town uh, after this, and Greg seems to be going back to his castle. Uh, the dead Hirda is allowed inside uh, the pharmacist's house, and then guards are telling people to go back to their business and and stay safe and lock their doors. Keep an eye out. Yes. <coughs> so so uh, I guess we go back to work. I guess for the time being. Yeah. 
go back. I, I, I went back to the stables and I check uh, whether or not uh, someone has uh, gone through the stash. Nope, nope. All right. I, yeah. I came back with him. And Checking nothing, on noth- if anyone's uh, failed at doing their task. No, nothing is out of the ordinary in the stables. And the people you left back here to work, they have, they have pretty much done what they're supposed to do. So everything seems to be in order. All right, well, I am not my well, brother's keeper. I just uh, continue working. What time yeah. is it currently now? It's like lunchtime. You usually go to eat uh, in the taverns around this. When we go uh, to the taverns, we probably can ask, ask the bartender if they heard any rumors. Yeah, uh, let's head to the tavern now, I guess. All right. It is I mean, lunchtime. And Harpa obviously remembered to eat how to eat, so perhaps he gets hungry. I mean, yeah. A town tavern does so good for you. You go to the... You might not know where. You go to the taverns, and uh, you a lot of other people are showing up there, and you open the door, and you see Harpa uh, sitting there, talking with a tavern, a taverner, Sot. And then Sot looks, sees you, and all the others, oh, lunchtime! Mm-hmm. Don't I worry. Go, and he goes I, I, up. Yeah. I step oh. up to Harpa, and Hit him hard on the in the face. <laughs> I uh, yeah. out of the way. Puncher? No, <laughs> but I, I, you, you most certainly do not. I will. I want to roll some kind of attack on that. Sure. Uh, Harpa dodges that. Actually, I, I right. did roll. I throw another. I throw another punch. All right. Hey, hey, hey. I, I will probably hit back. Okay. So uh, suddenly, hey. uh, uh, a small fight is abrupting uh, between Harpa and and Fiddle. I would like to ask, uh, so Nagom and Sirda aren't really allowed to react at first because this is like really quickly. Fiddle, what are you trying to achieve in this? Or is it just spontaneous? It can be spontaneous. I mean, I mean, it's, I mean, I'm angry. I yeah. was, I, 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 I'm not going to admit that I was worried, but I was totally worried. And now he's just sitting here as if nothing happened. And he has, yeah. So I want him to hurt a bit for that. I see. So, inflicting some pain, so to say. Yeah. Right. Har- Harpa, what are you trying to achieve in this little situation? I mean, uh, I just get like annoyed that that fiddle is trying to punch me. So first, I just try to wade him away, and then I try to punch back, just to basically defend myself. So not, I'm not really trying to hurt him. Just uh, like, uh, yeah, defend myself. Crowds. Yeah, a, crowd uh, a, a small brawl emerges, and uh, you do inflict some hits, Fiddle. However, Harpa seems to be able to push you back. Uh, Nargom, and what are your reaction to this fight? As now suddenly a few punches have been flying in the air between these two. Uh, my my reaction is to go up and separate them immediately. Mm. Who who? How are you trying to separate them? Uh, probably uh. Oh, fiddle back because uh, he was the aggressor. Mm-hmm. Uh, All right, Surda, are and... you trying? Are you doing anything in this uh, little situation? He's standing passive. Uh, this yeah. this gives <laughs> Harpa the upper hand, and there's a little bit of confusion. However, Nargum aren't really able to hold back Fiddle's um, aggression here, and the battle kind of continues. However, eventually more people are joining in and trying to separate you, and both of you have a little bit of a, a bruisers here and there. Yeah. So, what a jerk! Oh, you have you have a h- half an hour to eat your lunch, and then I want you not letting go of that broom for the rest of the day, and that's coming off your pay. I mean, sure, that's fine. Um... So something really weird happened this morning when I was at the uh, when we were eating breakfast. So when we were leaving, uh, the um, uh, uh, by the way, is the innkeeper still here? No. Nope. Uh, yeah. So when we, when we were leaving, the innkeeper slipped me this iron key, and I show uh, my friends or the guys uh, the key. As you're walking in the corridor. And he um, said something really weird that I didn't really understand. It sounded like uh, the uh, words or the language that was spoken to me last night. So I was kind of like shaken. 
uh, didn't really know what to do about it. Uh, so that's why I came back here to have a talk with him. And he seemed to kind of, I mean, the innkeeper is weird, seemed weird. He seemed really weird. He called me Serda and uh, asked if my name or if I am Serda. I'm not sure why he said that. Doesn't he know who I am? You all know the innkeeper. He's, he's born here. Soot has always been your friend. Do we do we recognize the name uh, Serda? No. And you did and, uh, not tell us this why. Why? I mean, because I don't really know you guys. I don't remember anything, and I don't really. I mean, how should I know that you, I should trust you? You could have you could have told us where you're going going or told someone at least. Dude, we were yeah, worried about you, man. So, so, so what has changed that you can trust us now? Hmm. I mean, because this innkeeper guy seemed really weird, and he, he did another thing. He just randomly threw a knife at me, and somehow I could I could catch it just like out of air. Can you and juggle I, knives? I don't know. I've never, never seen, seen you do that before. Do that. Can I try? <laughs> I'll uh -huh. take a few knives and I'll try. How many knives do you want to pick up? I mean, I'll take three. Yeah. What do you want to do with these three knives? I mean, juggle them. Yeah, you can juggle them. <laughs> yeah. Looks pretty good. You've seen people yeah. do this before in here. There's like these traveling uh, circus people that are trying to get money from people. Harpa is way better than these people. Yeah. Oh, this was easy. Uh, you so, know that he might have been made by the one of the blacksmiths in town. It seems like it's, it's, uh, it's custom made. So, 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 so what, what? Wait, you, he threw threw a knife at you, but uh, you. yep. And, and when we came here, uh, you were still talking. Like, what happened after you yeah, caught so, the knife? I mean, uh, I first he first he started to speak to me in a really weird language. Then he asked if I'm Serda. Yeah. Uh, and then he threw the knife at me. And then uh, we kind of spoke a bit. I asked what he was doing, and uh, I mean, what's up? And uh, then we were kind of interrupted, and he went away when people came. So I'm not sure I if he's trying to. Uh, I don't know what's going on, basically. Did he seem confused? Is he, did, no. did he seem uh, affected? No. Is the innkeeper here now, Mons? No, you can't see him. He might be in the back of like... the kitchen. Yeah. Let's kitchen. go find him. Yeah. yeah, I think we should have a talk with him. Uh, Suerda? 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 You're back? Flash? Yeah, I'm, I'm back. I just, I've been listening. I've just been helping all right, my all wife right. with uh, cleaning. All right, all right. Uh, you look for Sot, the innkeeper. And you don't really find him. Right. No one's serving I... food to the people that have entered? No, it's it's a one man's job usually. And it's a very easy job. And people are eventually starting to serve themselves. A bit organized, but it's, I mean, people are hungry. Okay. All right. G grab some lunch on the go and uh, we go look <laughs> for the... I'm going to grab me, a, like... I'm gonna Dude, grab me some, honey, lunch, some honey meat and a turkey leg. Sure. What? Uh, uh, oh, by the way, uh, this key, uh, the innkeeper said that uh, fiddle, it was for you. I'm no? not sure why he said it, and, but he said that this key is for you. Okay. But Can I have it on? Do you know any... Yeah, I'll just hang it, hand oh. it over. So, I don't uh, trust it. This is how, this is how the key uh, looks like. Does it actually have these like uh, small uh, hooks on the side? Yep, it's a... it does. Right. If you ever That's played, uh, I'm gonna use an example. If you ever played Oblivion, they have those keys. Yeah, might be. But I mean, I mean, because uh, because the picture mouse isn't that like a key shaped coat hanger or something? I mean, there are those hooks on the side. Yeah, they are. So I mean, Very does this, does this does this ring any bell to me? Like this key? No. It's very fancy. Uh, Surda, you don't think you would be able to make this key? It's very advancedly made. It's so, a very fancy yeah, that's key. What, that's what I was hinting to, that this might have been made by one of the blacksmiths, so we might get more uh, information from one of the... So, is it, does it look new? No, not that new. It looks pretty old, but it's really well made. And so, fancy so, I mean, material. Re really old, as in a thousand no, years. No, 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 it's like... Really old, as in a hundred years. Fifth. No, not. 
you don't you you I don't think you're able Sweerad. to estimate the age of this key. All right. Swear how this key. How 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 old is can this thing be? I uh, ask him as he have yeah. have yeah, as he has the blacksmithing. Uh Sir, that this is this is a, above your uh knowledge, but probably you estimate something like 30 years. Is it is it worn like is it uh, something that's been well used? Oh uh, yeah, it right. looks well used. I bite it. Yeah, it feels I mean, like taste iron. All right. Hard. It might have to be something to do with the stable. Is you live there, right? Yeah, might be. It, I haven't really seen a fancy lock uh, like this, or have I? No, you you don't really have fancy locks at the stables at all. I mean, let me Maybe tell a you that or, or, a king's horses can be quite valuable, but uh, uh, you, but yeah. Does mm. the uh... Maybe the inn has some back door or something. In the, yeah, they have. They have a back door. Yeah. So let's see there if we, we can go. catch the, the, the innkeeper. <clears throat> Seems like he knows stuff, at least. Uh, he knew more. Because, Papa, how's your memory? Yeah, and take, can take an investi investigation check. Yeah. Uh, sorry, Fiddle, what did you say? H how's your memory? Anything coming back to you? No. No? All right. No. Because this innkeeper at least seemed to be a bit more on top of things than you, right? I mean, yeah, he seemed to know stuff. Yeah. Um, it seems like he's involved somehow. Yeah. And uh, even if he didn't recall your name, so he might have been having some memories pro memory problems of his own, at least he knew to go to work even if he was a bit forgetful so uh, i mean um, that's something at least something might have happened I, I, between the morning time and the time that we just met him either that or he's just I'm still now here, guys. revealing All right. this, this part um, yeah i di didn't get the sensation that he didn't i think he thought that i was someone else basically i think he thought i think he re definitely recognized me but i think he thought that i was someone else. Huh. He didn't think that I was well, So, do, okay. do we know where he lives? Oh yeah, you know where he lives. Yeah, because uh, let's, okay. pay, let's, let, let's keep this conversation on the road then, because we want to catch... Yeah, yeah. yeah. and that's, that's, what I, that's what I thought as well. Yeah. Uh, you, you don't yeah. really seem to be able to pick up where he's been going, uh, but he's not that far away from you, because he dis you, this conversation in the, in the tavern hasn't been that long. Mm -hmm. So where are you trying to, like, ha head with this? Or You do, do think that the, the, they... you do think that the blacksmith people might know more about the key than uh, Svirda. Well, when we head out the, the tavern, do we see like him running or anything? No, you don't. <coughs> All right. I uh, hey Fiddle, I will let you know when he gave you this key meant for you. But I honestly think we all should go together mainly because I just don't trust us going by ourselves, especially what's been going on, people going missing, and then Harper disappeared. What happened to Hilda's husband? I just don't. I have a bad <laughs> feeling about all of this. <laughs> yep. That, that 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 might be a good idea, uh, and I don't. Harpa, you're not gonna run away again, right? Maybe. <laughs> what an answer! <laughs> no problems, huh? That, that makes me un That makes me feel very sure about things. I, do we have to tie, <laughs> um, tie you to a rope and just <laughs> bring you I along? Mean, I, 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 I'll so we're on. Yeah. You you don't happen to carry a mammoth? You have cowbells. <laughs> so uh, let's see if we can find Zot, the innkeeper, uh, or Mess Hall. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You want to just check his house first? Yeah. You, yeah. You get to his house and uh, the door is uh, locked. However, n n doors in this village aren't never locked. There's like this bar you put behind the door, and when you're trying to open the door, there's it won't m uh, move. So there's clearly like a lock behind it. Someone is uh, inside. Any windows? Any windows? Uh, yeah, uh, higher up. There are no ground level windows there in this town. Usually there are uh, second level windows. Like two meters up in the air. I knock on the door. N n nothing. Hey, so. Uh, Still nothing. You inside? Anyone want to lift somebody else up to see through the windows? Yeah, sure. Who is, who is being lifted and who is lifting and who is doing what? And who is being what? Who is the smallest? Uh... I guess so. What am I supposed to do with this? I think Nargum is the smallest. Nargum is the smallest, okay. Mm -hmm. 
then the three others, okay. the three of you are equally sized. But yeah, you can just help each other up and push Nargom up. Yep. Uh, Nargom, you see a empty building. Uh, you see his bed that is on the second floor that is empty. That is very, like, perfectly clean and doesn't look like it have been used for a while. And then you see, like, the rest of the... You don't see everything in the lower stairs, but that's... It looks empty. So it's like, it's like no one's lived here. Well, you can't really bar the door from outside, so someone's in there. Uh, hey, yeah. Soft, or whoever is inside, open up or we're going to break down the door. Uh, there might be a bar okay. around here if we can, if we, we can you, slip through the cracks and just pull it up. You think you could potentially push uh, Nargum into this building if you wanted to. That is possible. However, I mean, oh, you, you're, you're, you're kind of creating a scene here. I mean, let's do it. Ooh. Anyway. Uh, you push Nargom inside the building, and uh, you're inside. Uh. <laughs> I didn't plan on this, but okay. <laughs> and suddenly there's a lot of power uh, from behind you. You were like... Uh, I guess I land inside his bedroom, right? Yep. There's a bit dusty in here. What a... I know. Okay, so... Bed perfectly made. No dresser or anything in here? Nope. Nothing? Okay, then I move to the hallway. Yeah, there's... Nothing there. It smells there a bit strange now, suddenly, though. No other room up here? Uh, no. It, so there, there's this ground level, which is like kitchen and like normal stuff you have in okay. here. And then there's the upper level, which is basically just a, uh, a ladder a you climb up. Yeah, a ladder. And then you're up on the, the bed chamber place. So you can stand here and look okay. down to your second first floor. Uh, I'm going to look down and then climb down. All right. Uh, Kitchen seems normal, haven't been used for a while. The fireplace is really, really cold. And you see uh, this, this no bar ashes. on the door. No, no ashes. There's no ashes. In okay. Um, there's no no furniture or anything that's been used here. Just no. us. It seems very unused place. Like it's a brand new house that hasn't been lived in for a long time. Yeah. Pretty much. I remove the bar from the door and let them in. Yeah. You can all come in. You all smell a really strange smell. You? Sorry? What What does it smell like? It's, you don't really recognize this smell. Is it a stench or is it lovely? Stench. Is it like yeah. something rotten? Is it like, is it, is it, is it like mild, rank, or runchy? Uh, the more you're, the longer you're in here, the worse it gets and there seems to be going so further in, so, inwards. If you so it's runchy. Ugh. So all right. So we. From what direction is it coming from? You too. Uh, you can. You can. It's further down next to the, inwards the kitchen, away from the I, uh, door. Go towards the I kitchen. I grab like uh, I grab like uh, a cudgel or something. With the something bar in my hand, I head towards the kitchen. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You grab some form of weapon, right, fiddle? Can I? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I like a big stick or if, if there's anything close by. Yep. Ba baseball bat, crowbar. Yeah, you, you pick up some, some form of uh, meat axe. Big meat axe. Big meat axe. Sut is a big guy. Uh, yep. You see some blankets and some, like, a lot of stuff being hurled at one place. Uh, I peel off the blankets. You see a dead Sut. How freshly dead. Two, is, it, is he still warm? No, this uh, yeah. this looks really. Uh, ooh, it it smells. You you all go like oh, and the sight isn't. If, if a, pretty, bit, if it's a very body black. smells, if if a body smells, it means it's been dead for it, a body starts smelling after four days of being dead. So uh, you don't know this, but Harper. Oh, knows well, I don't this. know that knowledge. I'm just talking about real world logic. It would be, yeah, 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 yeah. but we don't know. Yeah, we don't know, but don't know. yeah. <laughs> Whew, right. sorry. Uh, I this. I'm sorry. So, and this, this is from the key that, that the innkeeper gave us, right? Yeah. It hasn't been dead as long. You soon estimate as I something find the body, between I, one to five uh, hours. I probably there was no signs of any struggle, no bruises anywhere on the body. It's died instantly. To wave down. The way the wait, was killed stop. is that there's don't. a small puncture uh, wound I, 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 on the side of the neck. We're really sharp, wait, but one object penetrated it quickly and precisely. Cleaning for the guards the first thing that happens. vital brain really? structure. Well, but there's people have already there's seen us go inside this house. Yes, people have seen us go inside. That's going to make it more suspicious. 
it's better that you be honest and transparent than to try to hide things. Exactly. We like, can say that we already like, foresaw it. Like seeing like that nobody has shown up for the lunch, and then yeah. we he his door was locked, so we decided to go up through the second window, and we found him. I'm guessing you're closing the door, right? Yeah. Yeah. Is there anything fit- inside here that looks like it could be a fit for the key? I- no, there's there's no there's no keys for anything in here. Yeah. So but what we, we can do is for sure is do we know this person that's in here? Yeah, this yeah, is Sot. Yep. This is Sot. Okay, so he worked with us? No, no, oh, he's, he's he the like mess that we were just at. Okay, so if we know him and he's been missing for a couple of days and we just found him. Yeah, no, no. Uh, you saw him saw yesterday. Oh, we you saw, saw him this morning. yesterday. No, you saw him I like 30 minutes ago oh, as well. Yeah. This what morning the fuck? 30 minutes okay. Ago. So <laughs> if that's the case, my thing would be like, Fiddle, you know, I've been around this town for, we all known each other for a long time. And you know, I've built a lot of trustworthy relationships with everybody. And I, I yeah. never hide anything. I tell everything. I wear my heart on my sleeve. Um, so let me be the one to break this news and let them know, hey, we tried to get a hold of them. We didn't know why they weren't opening the door, which is suspicious. Yeah. So we let ourselves in and found him to be dead. That's yeah. the best but, way we can put it. Be straight bold. But but at the same time, I'm just saying that I uh, mean we so- and we and all of the patrons of the like mess hall or what we gonna as call you it. Look at the dead corpse. You so, realize so that the- for like half an hour ago. Uh, it's, too ready. I actually think I think it'd I be would. pretty weird that you find two bodies within the same day, and you being near two of them seems pretty weird in that retrospect. Finding two, one body, uh, it's, it's but we a can't hide term. this. This has to be told. That's the reason why I would say like it. It'd be someone else saying that they. Can we speak body. to someone that's higher? I would rather speak to someone higher than a guard. Like we can alert guards, but I want to speak to the king. Let him know, hey, something's going on. I think that this is something bigger than us. Well, we would have to get the guards to come first, and then maybe so, yes. he'll come down from his castle. Because uh, the you, king came the first time. Yeah. You aren't really like. It's a little bit weird for you guys to walk up and speak to the king. Uh, you yeah. don't usually well, do I mean, that. If he comes to uh, if he comes to us, then that's different. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's true. You, yeah. Like so. the only one who's like getting closest to the king is Harpa going into the ki- the castle. So, so it so. might be best if Harper tells the king then exactly what's going on. But we don't have so an guys, idea of what's too. going on. Yeah, I think it's a serial killer on the loose. <laughs> but definitely. Hey, or, are you ignoring the fact that we saw this man alive for half an hour, like half an hour ago, and the, obviously it's not so something. No, is it's, wearing... it's, it's it's obviously something that's very weird. Something happened within either these thirty minutes, or that person was an imposter. Exactly. So, so guys, I think. Uh, can you see that there's like a wound in, in his neck? I think that's what killed him. And I think he died like oh. four or five hours ago. Is there a Some... wound? Is there wound you all look yeah. closer and you do see like a really tiny small puncture wound in his neck right here. Yeah. So I think, I How think did that's... you recognize that? Four or I'm five sure. hours ago? Yeah. I, th- I think there was something like that. So it's really weird that I, I just spoke to this guy. So there must be something odd going on. Some kind of like, I don't know. Well, the longer we, we stay around here talking, the more suspicious that we look. Because we've been in here for like five minutes and we just broke into this guy's house. And now we find him dead. Can I, can I investigate the body and anything more? And see if I can find anything. No, he he's very untouched, so to say. But then you realize a little bit he has lost a lot of blood. Mm-hmm. Someone drained so his someone blood drained. from him. Yeah. So, uh, his his skin color doesn't uh, look like uh, ours, but more pale, right? Yeah, yeah, it does. That means he was sucked. Look for bite marks. Now the only mark there you find is this punch mark here on the side. Uh, Someone. Uh, I think, I feel it's, like I think it's, it's about time it, that we do the guards thing. Yeah, is there any bruises no. on him? No. 
No. No. They, this they doesn't look like a normal. fight. No, I mean not like fight. I mean like someone forcing him down to take the blood. No. 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 How the hell? Unless he was drugged and he couldn't move. Is he bloody? That's, yes. Has, has, so has, has he's he, bloody. Okay. Yeah. So so like. Has uh, it's it's very dry right now. Uh, yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, but, 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 but That's a quick it, dry because blood don't dry that yeah. fast. Yeah. yeah. So so is. Yeah, like the, the amount of blood on his body and, uh, and all around does it look like he bled to death from this wound? No, that too little blood for that. It's very yeah. like a very small amount of blood, but you see blood here and there. It, it, is the blood on the floor? Was he bleeding while lying here? Mm, mm, like really little, like really little. Uh, like you could probably like cut your hand and do like this for like 10 seconds and that's the amount of blood you would pretty much spill out in this place. So little. So uh, okay. Am I just to assume that if uh, if I fail some kind of investigation check, you tell me, and until then I can go oh. all CSI on you. <laughs> so, sorry, uh, if I I have been rolling some tests, uh, and if if you discover something, I will tell you. Yeah, I promise. So yeah, I think it's a good idea to get the guards, but it doesn't look like he died here, or I mean at least he did not bleed to death here. Paprika. Baby, Paprika is not spike. So, do you want to gra grab the guards? Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. I'll grab one of the guards since I'm not like at the door, near the door. All right. So you you you, you went you go out you grab the guards and you get back here. Yes. All right. Uh, I tell them the guard this that we saw saw it not at the tavern and that he wasn't uh feeding anybody nobody was there and then we all came to his house to go check up on him and the door was locked so we let him we let ourselves inside and the, we the, came into the kitchen found him like this the guards are like can you take that again please what you, you, you he was alive then he's dead now he looks he looks old like he's been here like for a week right i mean this is crazy what is going on here they well, don't really seem to know how to handle it. Well, we we'll leave somebody may have impersonated him earlier. Oh, wait, wait, I, let's go fiddle. Uh, uh, well, we'll leave it in your capable hands, uh, officers. Oh, yeah, uh, absolutely. We will take care of this. Uh, what are we going to do? And you stay or leave? I leave. So yeah. I look at the guard. He, I know they said it was a week old, and you just like, everybody saw him 30 minutes ago. This is, this is something I've never seen before. This, this is this is this is strange. This is really strange. Um, don't worry. We will we will we will catch the culprit of this. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, try and be a bit more discreet this time. Last time, you really fucked up earlier. <laughs> see, guys, I told you, being honest <laughs> is the best way. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll have to see about that, but. So, is there a way for us to find out if anyone else is missing? Because this is really strange now. Yeah. Papa, you have absolutely no recollection of what might have happened yesterday. What's the last... Alright, you don't recall anything, no. Uh, he remembers uh, everything uh, now from the last couple... Of, since since we started talking to him, since he lost his memory, he remembers everything, but nothing yeah. pet prior to that. Yeah. So He's saying that he has some sound problems suddenly. Uh, Stefan, are you hearing us? Uh, yeah, but I mean, my headphones isn't working right now. Oh, okay. So uh, give me a second. I will try to fix. It. Yeah. Uh, he he is. Stefan is asking me, "Do I remember anything?" I am telling him, "You don't remember anything." Harper looks at you and says, "I don't remember anything." So uh, what? That's that's uh, just probably. There's nothing else that we can really investigate here now that the guards are here and they're gonna investigate it themselves. But, um, I think well, it's just about time maybe that we go back to the stables, I guess. Yeah, I think it's that's a good idea. really much. So, Mons, uh, mm -hmm. what do I, uh, like, <clears throat> legends and folklore, like, tales about things that take the shape of other people? And oh, witches. Them? Yeah, they are evil trolls that, uh, that pretend to be humans, and they are witches that... <laughs> Make people into uh, figurous things and monsters and freaks and horrible things. Magic is evil and very, yeah. There's probably some. There's magic a, there was curses. a girl that transformed uh, some of the a part of this village to to be monsters. You've heard you've heard rumors <laughs> about um, about a strange village where where uh, or Nargom. You've heard rumors about a strange place. 
you can. Yeah, uh, I I've heard rumors about uh, this village up up uh, somewhere east, north, east, northeast, north, and northeast. Yeah, about uh, how these this small group of ventures took down this switch who is uh, pretending to be a healer and turned people into monsters that are there. They did a pretty good job. Wow. <laughs> Not too many casualties. <laughs> it's true. So, so nothing, co- nothing uh, concrete. Huh? <laughs> I you're, not, you're, you're not that knowledgeable, so to say, sadly. No. Uh, However, you're quite on. Might be thinking, asking the right question. Uh, oh, we still need to head to the back. That's to... right. To learn about the key. Yeah. We need. We still need to go over there. Yeah. We should uh, make our way over S- there then. Stefan is uh, restarting his computer, just so you know. Um, his, his picture right. is frozen, but let's. Uh... All right. Then we can talk quickly without. Uh, like, yeah, because j- just off them because uh, the, right now I'm just figuring out how do we know that Harpa is really Harp, not someone else. Har- Harpa yeah, you, is Harpa for, is, for example, Harpa is a if agent. I'm guessing that you've been uh, talking uh, here and there with each other about what's going on, mm-hmm. so if you want to talk right now without Harpa listening, this is a per- yeah, perfect opportunity. Because Harpa is not. He, he went around the corner, but we can trust him that he'll be back. Harpa. But... Harpa. Could be somebody that has been replaced by one of these people. Doppelgangers. Uh, doppelgangers type of stuff. Maybe that Harpa, the original Harpa is dead is probably what I'm thinking. All right. So uh, when... Or Harpa might be in like a sleeper agent. <laughs> a but, sleeper uh, agent? Oh, God. So... Not another Zancha. <laughs> so, so, guys, where... where uh... Harpa did not show up to work, but he went home the day before. So, w- when exactly did he get lost? Help me recall this. It, from what I'm, uh, from what I see is that Harpa left the morning. The last people to probably see him were his mother and father. Yeah. And then they they don't know where he went after that. Yeah, and he did not show up know, to work. Did not show up. Maybe there's a Harpa inside the forest. Did, uh, was he supposed to go to the castle the day he went away? No, this is the same day that he went away, I believe. Yeah. It's like he went away early in the morning, like nine o'clock. Then all the the murder, you found a dead body, and then you start. You it was became lunch. You went to the it, it, inn and by you by found by him. By yeah. By yes, by when, when he was lost the first time, uh, when he no. didn't show up. No, he was no. not supposed to go Mar- to the castle that day. He usually oh, goes to Mar- the castle is- like once a week. All right. Is it far from uh, his home to uh, the stables? No, no. He lives close. Is what what it- kind of places are in between? Anything in? Uh, no, no? Ordin- ordinary houses, so to say. Huh? His neighbors. Uh, no currently, currently, what time is it? Is like. Uh, we spent how like long? Like one. Night. You've been you've been spending some time right now. It's like two, almost getting close to two o'clock, two p.m. or two o'clock, depending yeah. on how you. Fourteen okay. zero zero. Okay. So mid the day, I think that's another word for it. About uh, about early afternoon. Early afternoon. I think we have Harpa hey. back here. Hello. Are things working better for you and your computer? Yes. Now it's back. Happy to hear that. Sounds like it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they they've been basically talking about what they've learned and uh, timestamps of when things happened. Yes, so to say, that's what right. you missed. Okay. All right, so let's uh, uh, let's go back to the cal- to the stables and see if we can uh, find someone who can uh, tell us what this key might be about. You were going uh, to the blacksmith for that. Yeah. Yeah. So you arrive yeah. to the you arrive at the blacksmith. And uh, you show the key. So, sorry, uh, uh, sorry. Yeah. Before we yeah. go there, uh, yeah. what happened to the body? Body? Did the guards take it? Uh, yeah, eventually. Where did they take it? Uh, they they are starting to bring it towards the pharmacy uh, house again. Okay, so maybe something's up there. Since yeah, you're taking you, all the bodies there. You could go there too if you want to. But we've got to figure out what this key is first. Do you want to split yeah. up, or do you want to all go to the key blacksmith here? I think maybe if we do split up, it'd be Fiddle and Sa- Suran, 
And then me and Harper, Harper, yep. just go uh, think, to the pharmacist. Can, uh, stay together. All right. I think it's fine if we. Stay I think together. we're going. We should stay together. Yeah, I'm not confident in letting Harp out of my sight just yet. All right. <laughs> you arrive to the blacksmith place and you show them the key, and they say. Well, this looks like a key that's for a really big lock. I think the only thing we've ever done that is uh, resembling this is for the castle. So why would the person in the tavern give you something to the castle? Yeah, we found this on the ground. Uh, I think it might have been dropped by one of the guys. Oh, did a a dead guard drop it, you think? You should give it to the guards. I'll suppose uh, we return it to the castle eventually. Thank you for, so much for that information. Oh, have you uh, heard also, anything about uh, the dead guard, by the way? Is he? Is it true that they are saying that he's dead? I think you heard. You, I think you found him. He's Swerda. He's dead. And oh. not too long ago, another body was found. Yeah. Again, another one. Oh no. Another one. This one. This time, Sot. This time, Sot is Sot dead. Sot dead. Yeah. Yes. Oh no. Have you seen him around lately? No. No. I haven't seen him. Isn't he usually at his tavern place? Uh, Indeed. He was there, but then uh, nobody was there for lunch. And then right. we, people found him inside this house. <laughs> I see. Well, as you walk away, you suddenly realize that uh, they are starting to spread the rumor about more dead people. Yep. So it's just <laughs> happening everywhere. Where do so you... Who do? Yes, mass so- hysteria. Uh, I suppose we go to the... Uh, like, like the pharmacy, the, the pharmacy is somewhere yeah. that we can go uh. as like uh, citizens mm-hmm. and get help. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Harpa, let's go and uh, ask for a checkup on you, since well, you're yep. amnesia. And, yeah. uh, that's you. You arrive at the pharmacy uh, place, and uh, there's guards standing outside at the door, and you hear a lot of noise inside. What kind of noise? talk about like what is going on you, you could sneak peek if you wanted to but it sounds like they're having a wild discussion about weird Listen things in. we have a le- legit reason to be here we just walk on the door yeah you uh, there's there's guards standing there yeah. all right you you can you can all hear that they they seem conf- you, you, the, the conversation seems to be confusion about how how they died okay so everybody's trying uh, to figure out, but no one knows the answer. No. So, mm, how can I help can I you? Talk to the guy? Yeah, how can I help you? The guard says. Uh, oh, aren't you the I one that found, found the dead bodies? Yes, so far. It's weird. What are you doing here? Well, we didn't think of it before, but we thought about it now. But our good friend here has lost their memory. We don't know how they've lost their memory. Good old Harpa. Well, we think he might be crazy, so he has to see a doctor. Well, they are busy inside, actually, sadly. They are trying to get to the bottom of this uh, mysterious, horrible events that's taking place in this town. I look at Fiddle and yeah, I say, do like you want to, you, you know, I nudge at him. <laughs> you want to shrimp? <laughs> <laughs> Fiddle? Oh, uh, uh, sorry, you talked to me? Uh, I, I thought you were tr- talking to the guards. Uh, what, what did you say? I said, okay. do you want to, you know, I'm nudging you. Huh? What? Yeah, I mean, now? I mean, well, I think it's, uh, that, that, that might be the, uh, the best way forward then. Harper, you think you, you can try to, like, kickstart your memory or something? Hmm? <laughs> I'm not sure what you're asking me. Sweet the shit out of him. Sweet the shit out of him. You know what I mean? <sighs> what? We, we, we aren't talking about getting high? Did I miss it? Yeah. <laughs> the, gu- <laughs> the guards what? looks at you strangely. I mean, don't, don't go all subtle on me, sweetheart. I mean, I'm I'm not the read between the lines kind of guy. Uh... <laughs> so, uh, M- Mr. Guard, uh, our friend mm-hmm. here is very, very sick and m- might possibly be dangerously, contagiously crazy and things. Shouldn't we so, lock him up then, maybe, instead? So he can wear off <laughs> his uh, alcoholic problems, right? It's, uh, it might be a good idea to have a doctor look at him first, since we don't know exactly what it is that he's 
been in contact with. And you know, with all of these people uh, dying all over, yeah. let's not add, add to the number. We have uh, had a lot are, of tragedy already. They are, they are really busy and I have orders. No one to enter, uh, sadly. Uh, but, well, let me let me have a talk with them. And one of the guards goes inside and you, you hear talk inside between the guards and... Can we hear so, and hear? What does that mean for me to do? Oh. Are they speaking loud enough for us to hear? Yeah, you hear that the guard is saying that there's they're, they're in need to look at something and uh, eventually no. they they just shake heads, you hear. Suddenly he comes out and says, no, it's... They are busy trying to figure out what's happened to these bodies. Sorry, I, I can't. I couldn't All help right. you. So, Harpa, want to go Eat some shrooms. Hmm? What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, either that or the castle, I guess. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, DJ, you expect you you have your appointment in the castle. Uh, that is tomorrow, I guess. Tomorrow, right? So let's do. Let, let's yeah have, have uh, let let's get relaxed <laughs> and see if we can uh, get your mind back on track. It is I mean, time, is it time to go I, and I, get high? <laughs> I mean, mean, I'm not, I'm not a doctor, but I've heard that if you do something bad, if something affects you bad, then you do it again, and it will be better. <laughs> and uh, oh. it's like when right. you get drunk the first time, uh, you don't feel all that great. I'll, I, I'll, be, I'll be the sober person that's saying. All right. That's so, nice. are you going back to the stable to smoke some mushrooms? <laughs> I'm not really sure you're smoking mushrooms, but... Uh, okay, uh, eat mushrooms, then. <laughs> I mean... Uh, I mean, I yeah, guess right? we're definitely going back to the stable, I guess, but... Because that's where yeah. our supply of All mushrooms right. are. You go back to the... You're back at the stables. Yeah. Everyone's still working? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. They're busy. I mean, obviously not right now, but... Uh, I mean, well, we have a, we have jobs to do, and uh, I mean, it's this is all strange and so, but uh, I don't really Harpa, see. Harpa is, is on sleeping duty for the rest of the day. <laughs> yeah, and it doesn't seem. I guess some can call. I guess right some now. will call. I guess some will call Harper a sweeper. <laughs> that that <laughs> reminds me, I am your broom again. Well, so are you back? Are you doing your work chores again, so to say? I mean. Uh, unless anyone else has an idea, I mean, uh, Fiddle do don't really have any. Like, uh, how, Live. how far away is the castle, actually? Not far. You, it takes 10 minutes to walk there. Um, right. I so, think so it, it's, not, it's not in the, like... I guess we might have a good, uh, somewhat good excuse if we take Harpo, Harpo with us to the castle, saying that it's time for Arthur to do his thing. Uh, and we can get inside the castle, but I don't know. We still don't know where this key would go. Why, why would I mean, we want we to go inside go the castle? What, why, why? Maybe there is why something we weird going on there. The evil king yes. is, is maybe doing oh. something. Now, don't go call the good king Craig evil, just because of rumors. <laughs> but uh, but uh, I, uh, I uh, once again, wh why? Of of course, there are things going on in the castle. He's a king. Kings have stuff going on. <laughs> How does that concern us? It's a valid argument. Got to say. I mean. Uh... I'm not sure how we're going to figure out what's going on otherwise. Well, we we don't know where well, this key goes to, but blacksmiths have told lot. us that it goes, it's, it's inside the castle, whatever this key opens. Yeah. yeah. And just, they said it was for you, Fiddle. Yeah. So, and I am responsible in keeping this key. So that means whatever is inside that that uh, room that's, that this key goes to might also be yours. Yeah, you might it's you probably know, maybe uh, interest for you. Fiddle. May, yeah, yeah, fiddle. Maybe maybe it's a, a another uh, house or uh, some more gold or riches for you. Or, unless or, uh, this nice key, whatever there. could be in there, whatever. Unless could be in there. unless this key goes to your sister's bedchambers, I'm not really that interested. So <laughs> no. I mean, it might it might. <laughs> I don't know. I, uh, but I, I think, I think it's, um, I think it would be good to try to check out, like, and figure out where, where this one actually goes to. 
that's our yeah. only lead so far until the pharmacist opens up and they yeah. know anything. You know, Harper, uh, you, you go to the castle. Here, have the key, see if you find it. Good yep. luck. Well, whatever's that. in that room is for you, Fiddle. That's the reason why I think that you should come with us if we are going yeah. to there. It's your golden I, I, room I don't, there. I don't know about you, but I have a job to do. Uh, and, uh, well... What time is it? What, what is it, like, near near time that they, we are done? <laughs> you, f you think that you're kind of done, and... <laughs> You, I mean, most of day. the most of the work at the stables are finished. But if Fiddle doesn't want to go, he doesn't have to. I mean, you can't the, force him. The horses yeah. don't like finish their shift at the stable and go home to their horse family. I mean, the stable still needs caring. Uh, it, this is not a nine to five job. Uh, so, okay, okay, yeah, Fiddle. Fine. So fine. it sounds like you're splitting up here. That some are going to the castle and Fiddle are staying. Yes. Yeah. All right. Who are staying and who are going to the castle? I'm staying. I'm like, I'm heading to the castle with Harpo. Yeah, me too. If Harpo joins. Mr. Red, are you coming with us or are you staying? You ask if I'm coming? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm coming. All right. Yep. Fiddle, you can stay here. Don't worry. And you can. Yep. We can yep. Come in. Uh, and, and I want some uh, privacy. Uh, All right. Play you eventually. Uh, Everyone, uh, everyone disappears, and uh, Fiddle is standing there with his broom, uh, brooming and things, and you disappear. And <laughs> I'll see you guys soon. Uh, 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 okay. Before before uh, we leave, uh, I mean, Phil, if you if you want to take mushrooms, you can just take it. You don't have to be so sneaky about it. You can just tell us. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you for telling, uh, saying that, because now I am going to sit down and be high. Yep. <laughs> the, la <laughs> the last thing you see is uh, fiddle uh, fiddling with some mushrooms. Yep. All right. Uh, you can talk to each other uh, while you're gone for a while. Okay. Shake your hands if you can hear me. You can hear me, fiddle. Yep. Cool. Oh yes. Sure. They can't. So, uh, they can't hear us. Y yeah. You know how it looks so, like when they where they are. Yeah. So what kind of uh, like contacts do I have in this city? Because I am getting super worried that some kind of changeling has mm -hmm. taken Harpa's form. So, uh, mm -hmm. w like, are, are there any, like, do, do I ha do I have, like, friends or connections, someone who knows things about supernatural stuff or anything? Uh, like? If if you know, they were burned to death. Yeah, or, but so so if I, if I thought I knew a witch, who would I tattle to? <laughs> Sadly, you don't know a witch. And, no, 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 no. But, 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 but I mean, if there was someone who was going to mm, burn for witchcraft, who, who would I? Uh, would I, I don't think there's anyone. All right, there is one in this village. All right, uh, uh, some some old uh, person that mm, was possessed by a witch. Apparently, the yeah. the, the story goes, and survived. It's that's so to say. Uh, so, 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 uh, and I mean, keeping keeping things short, uh, we, yeah. we don't necessarily have to play it out. But you can just say that uh, you rush to that person, you ask questions, uh, what you want to know. Yeah. Uh, and uh, and I want to know like things taking the shape of uh, like basically changelings. Uh, mm -hmm. so, uh, it, it, how do you know if someone is a changeling? Like, are they allergic to silver? Can oh, they lie? All, all trolls are allergic to metal or right. steel. 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 Yeah, steel. Uh, and and trolls is the is troll a specific kind of creature or troll is like supernatural evil things uh, in general. Trolls are not really supernatural things, but people say that some troll like people are saying that various things about trolls. Some trolls are just brute force beasts, and other and then people say that trolls are incapable of evil magic. All right. Have I seen uh, Harpa handle the things of steel today? No, 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 no. no, no. All right. Uh, do you to make things short? Are you trying to yeah. follow uh, the people? Are you like tagging along in no. the streets? Uh, no, not really. But uh, okay. but I but I but I want to prepare something. Uh, or, or you know what? Uh, after I I heard uh, I speak to this woman, I grab something out of steel, and uh, then I move towards the castle as well. Cool. Uh, and I perhaps I'll catch up to them, but but more like uh, I'll. I, I'm, I'm, I'll be able to step around the corner whenever the plot uh, makes yeah. it a good idea. Yeah. That sounds yeah. great. I can I can call. You will always be like small, small behind. Cool. Yeah. Hmm? Wait, oh, right. I remember <laughs> that one. 
Hey everybody, you're back. So you're getting Hello. close to the city um, um, uh, castle gate. There's no one there. Usually there's a guard here. Huh. Is the is it like completely closed or yep. open? No, completely closed. Completely closed. Is there a key? Oh. Yeah, there's a big door. I can move the door. Is actually. it? Can we push it open or is it? You locked? try to push the door open and it's locked. Okay. Uh, can we open it with the key? The key Try fits. Key. <gasps> yep, let's huh. open. Is this like a universal key for the castle? Um. Uh, you don't know. It opened this door. How much more? You uh, don't know. It wants to open up the door first. Whoever right. <laughs> opens up the door is probably probably it. Uh, Harpa, you open the door first, actually. Because you've been, yeah, you've technically been here before, but you don't know what what's been going on. Yeah. You open the door and you oh. see, come inside a big like um, stable area, and you believe this is might be where Harpa has brought uh, horses and such before. And there's a guard lying there on the ground inside the door. Uh, I look at him and check him for stuff. <laughs> oh, he's sleeping. Sleep. This dude's sleeping on the job. What a failure. Nargom, <sighs> you're starting to feel dizzy. Huh? Oh, I, the, wor uh, <laughs> the world is spinning a little bit for you currently. Uh, I try to step back away from the body, from the yeah. sleeping guy. You feel better. You feel better. But still a little bit dizzy. Huh? Don't get too close, guys. There's am I close to the body or am I? That's, no, you're not. That affects people. Okay. That makes them dizzy, at least. I, will, I, I take a small rock and I toss it at the guy. Yeah, he, yeah. Now he's still asleep. Uh, do anything. I? Did Harper give no, me no. back my cloak? Oh yeah, I think so. Okay. Uh, it might be. I don't know if I, I could think that if it's like a smell or something. A it it, it smells. It smells something strange over there. Yeah, it does. Strange. Yeah. Oh, well, then I. Not try again. And, like, no, not that kind of. Use this something. this smells pleasant. Pleasant? Yeah, oh, smells pleasant. No, no. Harpa, you recognize this. This is sleeping gas. It is something you can extract mm. from a bunch of flowers and combine it with other oils. Mm -hmm. okay. Harpa, do you I'm have anything on guys. this? Yeah, I mean, you this know is, a this way to like get past it. Gas. Can we just walk around it? Oh yeah, yeah, you can. You can continue inward. There are there are stairs going up, and there are stairs going into what seems to be a kitchen. Uh, let's go up. Mm. Let's mm -hmm. go up. <laughs> You're starting to climb the stairs. Let's and go. It, and eventually you hear, you come out to a big, uh, like a garden air, era. A air, area. Area. Yeah, thank you. There's there's a big table uh, with, with a lot of different chairs, with a lot of different papers on it. And out there in in the, there's uh, there are like open rooms that leads out to a big balcony with a lot of grass on it. So you can like can see out. Read? Nope. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> it looks like maps. Uh, what do we see on the maps? Uh, what looks like roads, uh, rivers, and pictures that resembles castles, and then there are different strange names we, written on places. Do we recognize our, our town or like uh, our no. area? No. Oh, none of the no. cities or buildings in the map has any particularly different look to them. They just have, this is supposed to be a, a forest, this is supposed to be a mountain, this is supposed to be a river, this is supposed to be a city. Okay. Um, there, there are more balcony? stairs. Yeah, there's a balcony, and there are more stairs going uh, upwards. And then, oh, I, go, I don't want to go towards the balcony. <laughs> you know um, what? I don't want to go towards go up, the balcony. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you can you continue upwards, and uh, suddenly you yeah. reach a door, and inside you hear ramblings of such. Can we mm, yeah. put our ear up to the door and hear anything? You, you hear some form of struggle. You hear things are being thrown and such. Yeah, I open a door. You see the King Greg fighting Hirda. They seem to be in a battle. Hirda, Hirda is wielding a big sword, a really big sword, and... For an old lady, especially. And and uh, Greg is trying to defend himself, trying to stay alive with a big shield. And the shield is starting to, like, come down. He doesn't really seem to be armed, and he's in a l definite losing side. Uh, I, I think I'll bum rush. Same. Uh, so, 
Harpa, you're bum ru- you said you bum rush Hirda. Yeah. Nargom, like you were, we're doing what? Tackle. We're trying to tackle to the ground. Uh, yeah. Her to yeah. the ground. Or something. And uh, Suirda, what are you doing? He's standing passively. Hello? On... Yeah, mm-hmm. are you there? <laughs> yeah, I'm here. Uh, no, so... like, it, 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 like, froze on me for a second. All right. Uh, suddenly you see how Harpa and Nargom are rushing uh, head fast right at Hirda. And, uh, yeah. This this goes pretty well. You you tackle yeah. her, and this is in Greg's bedroom. So she flies onto the uh, the bed, and you're on top of her. You kind of disarm her big two-handed sword, and uh, you caught her completely by surprise. And then Greg, she tried, she tried to kill herself. No, she was trying to kill oh, the king. To kill. Oh shit! Damn. And the, the king points at Hilda and says, "Kill her! Kill the witch! Kill the witch! I order you." Uh, sir, we don't we don't uh, really have any lethal weapons on us. <laughs> oh, never mind. I, well, I know I she's trying to kill. Like... She's trying to kill the king, but is she trying to get revenge because she thinks he's the reason her husband's king, dead? King Greg, uh, I think it'd be more advantageous if we interrogate her for what's been happening. Sirda, Sirda, the old woman uh, looks straight at your eyes, Harp, and says, "Brother, what are you doing?" Huh? I don't know you, lady. You I'm know me? Sure is. You know me. <laughs> I'm not sure why you think I'm with someone else. You aren't you aren't what they are saying that you are. I know what you are. You're my brother, and we were hired to kill the king. Help me. What are you doing? I'm on your side. Can I make an um uh, well, I'm like, going I'm confused as hell. I'm looking confused. I'm looking at Fiddle like what? <laughs> uh, <laughs> your in the your investigation role seems to say this is not a lie. That's what your inter like your investigation role tells you. Okay, interesting. Wait, uh, did he roll a net twenty or something? <laughs> oh snap! <laughs> Can uh, I? I need to do it. In, I need to do investigation. I need to know. What, can you roll for me? You have no idea what is going on. <laughs> Investigation for me. <laughs> Investigation for me. This is not Hirda, uh, Nargom. That's what you're feeling. Now that I, now that I look closer at her, and is that what you see? Oh, yeah. this doesn't feel like Hirda. Mm. I, I, I just like respond to. Uh, oh. I'm, I'm sorry, Elena. It seems like you're confused. I'm not sure what you're. I have no idea what you're talking about. Uh, think carefully. Does any of this make sense to you? You are capable of doing other things than what your this pathetic human creature is supposed to do, right? Try to run on the walls and you will see what I'm talking about. Fight through this, trust me. You, they are going to kill you and ins- dissect your body. Pathetic, use our friend! I uh, I will I will uh, listen to him. I will try to run on the walls. Yeah, you you're quite acrobatic. You release Hirda and you start to like test your skills, and you're quite good at it. This means that Hirda okay. is only being held down by Nargom at the moment. Nargom, this lady is stronger than you. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> shit. <laughs> She's gonna toss your ass like a savage. <laughs> when, you, when you say attempt to run on the walls, are we talking like anti gravity Spider Man style or quite Are we, are we talking about are we no. talking, bru- are we talking uh, Jet Li style or Spider Man style? Jet, yeah. Jet Li style. Jet Li style. So All right. imagine there's like, also this, like yeah. this, this, the corner that like this, and he, he kicks, he, he can kick yeah, like, himself like parkour. really good. Like throw this up is, in the wall and then just kick. Yeah, yeah. I see what you mean. I know how to. I know how to do that actually. But that's another yeah. discussion. <laughs> yeah, this is something a human could potentially do if they were like in reality really acrobatic. And this looks really good. Like circus good. Circus good. Better than circus good. You've, uh, yes. you've, you've yeah, seen better people than circus kind, good. Yeah. Yeah, you've seen people do this before, but this is like wow, good. I, like I think America's I really, got uh, talent. Good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Okay, so, we, uh, so I'm, am I being not? Wait, 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 uh, wait. So let's go order by order. Harpa, All right. what do you want to do? I will uh, reach for the sword. 
Ja, vi har det. står. Nargom. Your reaction to this isn't that good. She is actually... Okay, you and... She's tossing you around a bit. You're being thrown to the ground and you, you, f you feel bruised as you're like rolling onto the grind ground as well. Uh, Suerda, even though this is like a really weird situation, uh, your, this old lady Hirda that you've known for years, who is supposed to be quite frail old woman, seems to be quite strong at, from nowhere. Your best, one of your best friends are running at walls. This seems to be a really strange situation. However, you, you are for some reason able to grab your nerves. What do you want to do? Flash. Oh my god. Uh, I'm looking like uh, Fiddle. Check on Nargo. Fiddle, Fiddle is not here. Oh no, he's not here? Not here. Well, no. first no. I say, Nar I'll say, Nargo, are you okay? Uh, I just got knocked out, knocked, knocked around by a failed old woman. I feel. And then the next thing, I, okay. and then I say, "Okay, you're fine. You, who, who are you? We've known Harper for a decade or more. Harper. What is going on? I'm confused. Do you say this to Hilda? Yes. Hilda replied. Uh, all right. You're you're starting a kind of conversation. Uh. Fiddle, as you've been super prepared for all this all the time. However, yeah. you're quite far behind in this, but yeah, you know exactly where you are outside the door. What do you want to mm. do? Uh, yeah, all right. I, I suppose I step around the corner and uh, uh, I say, Hey, Harpa, catch. And I throw uh, a package at him. I don't catch it. Quick, man. Um, yeah. yeah. All right. No. All right. Uh, oh, oh well. Hirda replies to you, uh, Suerda, as things are happening, as Nargom is like, whoa, and the package is being flown and it's in the air. One gold coin, if you help us kill this wretched king, and we forget about all this, and we can walk our different paths. The old lady has this exact uh, strange uh, brute force voice. I say one gold coin. Well, first, Killing I can't just let something like anything. Her subjects are still here. Mark Nargo, no hold that thought, kill people sir. For, for that. <laughs> I'm like, I say, don't mind him. What I want to say is, we know him for many years. We trust him. Why would we just let you take Harper away from us? And we're clearly friends, and we're on his side. And key words, we are on his side. So there's no way we're just going to let you just go your separate ways, especially with helping killing the king. So you we don't have a deal? She replies. No, what I'm, what I'm saying, what I'm saying is we're on his side. The king's side. Harper's side. Harper's side. Harper's side. Harpa, do you wanna? Yeah, now the the bag is flying down and it lands next to you, Harpa, in, in between this. It makes a clinking sound. Yeah. Yep. I I I think I like look over at Phil and ask like, whoa, what what is that? Uh, I give you a look. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I pick it up and I have a look. It feels. Uh, uh, is this what I think it is, Phil? Yeah. Uh, I mean. I, that depends on what you think it is, but uh, okay. What is it in that bag? Uh, it's my razor blade. Okay, uh, you feel a razor blade. Yeah. Is this razor blade <laughs> made of anything spe specific? Yeah, of course. I mean, it's still my. Right. It's you don't really like okay. the the feeling this has on your fingers, yeah, Harpa, as you're touching it. But I have a two-handed sword in my hand, right? Yeah, you do. Okay, I put the bag down. Yeah, you put the bag down. And I and I look at you and, like. I'm not sure what you want, man. Oh, yeah. The, the <clears throat> king suddenly goes, What are you doing? Kill the imposters. They are here to assassinate me, to steal this kingdom, to take over the land. This is clearly an assassination by another king. I order you to immediately execute these imposters, these, this witch. Okay. Uh, I, I look at the king. I look at the king uh, and I say, You hand me the sword and I'll kill him because he's getting on my nerves. Wait, you look at the king and say what? No, no, I look at I look at Hilda and I say, I would do it. All right. Give me the gat thing and I and I stab the king. <laughs> <You're> st <laughs> All right. <laughs> Through his chest cavity. He it's has an old. A with him. Yeah, it's an old man. But the... so you are trying to now attempt to kill the king. Uh, are there anyone helping this, or are there anyone that is uh, trying to 
prevent this? I mean, I, mean, I, I don't think I'd prevent it. But I'm uh, an orc. I, I don't want the king to die, sure, but I'm not gonna throw myself in front of a blade and I'm on the other side of the room. So no, no, I mean... Sirda, right. <laughs> uh, talk, tell us how this king is being killed by your hand and sword. <laughs> You've you've been a you've been a, a poor person in this kingdom for a long time, pushed around like everyone else in the city by this this ruler that is dictating how things are going. You're in his bedchamber. What is happening here? How does it look like? Describe it. I just I just say I've known this man for ten years. We've been through a lot of stuff together, and then out of nowhere, you're ordering us to kill two people. Calling them imposters, a king assassination, but you came out of nowhere in a time we lived in happily for a long time, and then all of a sudden you're right. our king. If he's making a speech but like you that, want our protection. Now. I mean, if he's gonna yeah. monologue, then I have all the time to tackle. No, no, it's like a, it's like a, it's like a fifteen, <laughs> it's like fifteen seconds. Okay, I'll talk. <laughs> and then, and then I was like, you came out of nowhere. Now, all right, yeah, yeah, he's. Do you want to do anything, Fiddle? I don't know. I'm too. I'm too lost here. Uh, no. Uh, I. Yep. I mean, I. I. I look at Swirad like. Weren't you supposed to be the like the thinking one, right hand, whatever? You uh, went from a bit concerned citizen to regicide in like. <laughs> I say to I say to Fiddle, I fight for I fight for my friends. Yeah. All right. Do you do you kill the king, Sverda? All right. And then I just hand the sword to Harp. Wait. Do you do you kill the king or do you give the sword to Harp to do? Yeah, I instead? kill him. Okay. I kill, you, I kill him. All right. You, you stab the king. There's blood and he's screaming and he's yeah dying. Hirda picks up a gold coin, looks at everyone, tosses the coin to the ground and say, We're good. We can leave now. Everything will go. We're going, I say we're going with you. You're going with us? Yeah. <laughs> Hirda looks at Harpa. He says, Okay, but you? What do you say? I don't know. Seems like uh, this town is uh, doomed for me right now. Yeah. So sure. Come with me. So, uh, Nargom and Fiddle, what do you do here? They, they <laughs> so, seem to be on the idea yeah. of leaving. Yeah, uh, I turn towards the woman who is obviously not here, though. So, any, any chance the real Harpa is still alive? Harpa is still alive. You think this is a lie? Well, I suppose. Have a good life. I wasn't her here. I have a sister to console. I... Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. I, I make sure to uh... pick up my race here so I don't leave any proof. Uh, Hirda uh, I... uh, grabs your shoulder, Harpa, and say, We are brothers. Do you trust me in this? No, not really. But okay, sure. give me time and I will help you regain your true memories. Follow me. Trust me. Uh, Hirda, uh, so... This is where we reach the epilogue and the end of this adventure. As uh, as uh, Hirda, or this weird doppelganger, as you might have figured out, and Harpa runs off. And uh, Svirda uh, can't sadly keep up with this. Uh, okay. They literally jump down the balcony without ropes. Oh. They don't, like, jump down 20 meters. They jump from stone to stone, so to say. Okay. Now, however, you do keep the gold coin they gave you. No one saw what happened in this castle uh, because the guards were sleeping. And uh, what do you guys do? Or how do you would like to tell oh. a story? Harpa and this uh, other person is, is now, are now gone. All that remains are Nargon, Fiddle, and Sirda in this entire castle. I just... Uh. Take a bath. Just Wait. get my stuff. Take a bath. Uh, <laughs> I probably asked Fid Fiddle how they got here, and probably used that way to get out of here because I don't want to be a part n anywhere near where the king died. To be assumed that I killed him. <laughs> yeah. And that so. is, I'm like, assumptions won't be anything because if, as long as they see people around the area where the king died, they'll just assume that everyone needs to die. So. It didn't matter if you did it or not. I mean, we sneak out. P people are still sleeping, so uh, I figure we just yeah. s we just skulk away. Yeah, you're yeah. rich as trolls. However, all right. So, 
guys, what happens to this village now that the king is dead? Nargom, Fiddle, and Surda, you can tell a little bit of a story if you want to. Chaos and things, but what is there anything specific that happens? Does Harpa's uh, body ever come up? You venture into the forest and eventually you find a body that has been dead as long as Harpa has been strange. Yes, you find a dead Harpa. Yeah, but, but, but so... Um, well, yeah, I... I mean, I mean do, do we find him or is he found eventually? Like, I mean, I, I'm not gonna go out hunting, I'm just gonna try to... Found you. Sister, right, let's say yeah. the sister yeah. finds it. Uh... <laughs> So I mean, he—I I suppose he, he get, get lost again. And I mean, uh, uh, yeah. The, since um, I, 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 I try to—I—I—I I, I feign ignorance. I don't know. He was strange. Uh, perhaps he was—he—he he went mad in the forest that first night, and uh, he went out. All right. So, so uh, now that the adventure is. Uh... A little bit more before we end it completely. What what more happens to this town? Is there like what are occupations uh, are you guys doing? Or I would say that uh, the the king being gone with the king being gone, the city probably just uh, comes together and chooses either another person to to be elder or head head person. Probably like the old elder that that was like supposed to be here. Mm -hmm. uh, that was head before was chosen again to be the uh, leader of the town. Yeah, and sure. uh, I would say probably I I uh, may maybe I probably get my house built by the time. Yeah, the time you know. you ha you have a gold coin. The three of you kind of together, or is Serda just keeping this to yourself? I, I don't want no. I, I I I just give him the money. All right, and Fiddle doesn't <laughs> want any part of this. No. I just Has, I just tell them just it's just for the business. All right. Has this completely split up your entire group, so to say? Are you like you were uh, once best friends and now you're like not friends anymore? I, I, I mean, th I'd that's say that part. we're still friends. We're still working at the same same uh, place, we, but we prob I, prob I probably changed my I mean, uh, occupation. Though. It, it was the king's state. The king is dead. I mean. Uh, do we still have a do i still have a job i mean no nope. <laughs> no you do no, no, you no. so so i mean oh, uh, I, I i i think i'll uh, i'll uh, i'll probably try my luck with uh, viola and see if i can console <laughs> her uh, but yeah but whether, whether or not that works out if, if that doesn't work out then i think i might uh, leave this village yeah <laughs> because i mean uh, this this is uh, just gonna come crashing down i'm pretty sure might be. <laughs> All right. I mean, that... and I could just, I could just find work with, I could find work with the blacksmiths. Yeah. Yeah, you can definitely. I mean, people are probably picking up older like employees and things, and you're getting real salary and things. And shape changing assassins, killing the king, is probably a prelude to something I don't want to be here for. So, uh... yeah. So that takes us to what this adventure was all about. Before, uh, so. Feel free to guess. I would like to Harpa to begin here. What do you think was the 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 mystery here, so to say? This is like off now, or more, so to say. Mm, what is? I do mean, you think this the, the entire story? What happened and so such? How did everything went down? I mean, obviously, some kind of a creature or something took Harpa's body and uh, used it to infiltrate the village and then uh, uh, somehow tried to uh, kill the king. But something mm -hmm. probably went wrong when he took the body of Harpa and uh, lost his memories. Harpa Correct. was high in the house. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and this uh, professional assassin shapeshifter or doppelganger, as it might be correct, weren't uh, used to the kind of uh, things that Harpa had digested, so he, he became even higher. Yeah. <laughs> right. This, which means that you were never really Harpa. You were a doppelganger shapeshifter. Yeah. Mm, okay. I called it. I knew that there was a other <laughs> one. Ugh. So who was uh, this other uh, person that claimed to be Harpa's brother? Probably Shirpa's brother. Yeah, correct. <laughs> What you don't know is why they came here. Uh, sorry, uh, I, I didn't no. didn't follow. Or what? I mean, your your character was actually called Shirpa. Yeah. Oh yeah, you mean like that? Yes, yes. Yeah. yeah. As <laughs> so I said, I suppose, in, uh, as like, I said 
yeah, yeah. No, no, you go, you go, you go. So uh, I suppose that there were two shape shape changers all the time, and uh, yeah, and uh, were they in cohorts with like the apothecary in any way? No, there were only those two. So does anyone want to guess uh, Harpa's brother's movements and how things happen and why people died and why keys and things went the way they were? I mean, the innkeeper is uh... easy, but. Other than that, I have no idea. So they both came in together, and then they split up. The first one was the guard trying to probably suss out what where everything was and where the kingdom was, or trying to infiltrate the kingdom to, to, to figure out stuff. And then he became sought to figure out where his brother was. And then after that, uh, became Hilda, who went to the bar and then uh went to the kingdom mm -hmm. so um as you might know harpa was allowed to go inside the castle which is oh. a way which is where the king was so that is why they selected harpa uh mm -hmm. the, the 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 guard that you found dead in the streets that the reason they killed him is because they, he had a key so they took the key mm. and then he gave it to Harpa. However, at this point, <clears throat> Harpa didn't know, or uh, Svirda didn't know who he was anymore. So it was like, they didn't really catch up together. But in the plan, Harpa would now infiltrate the castle with the key as normal daylight and kill the king on his own. <clears throat> when this, this didn't so work why? out, yeah, 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 go for it. Go for it. Uh, why did, um, did the innkeeper say that I should give the key to Fiddle? The innkeeper got confused when you didn't seem to recognize him because he he tried to speak to okay. you in your own language and was like, wait a minute, this is Harp. We have scheduled this. He smells like my brother because you have a different smell. You have a really good smell sight. And you smell weren't side. like, and you weren't really like connecting with him. So he's like, okay, I need to maybe lie anyway. So, mm. and okay. after that, he uh, ditched the body of Sot and at took the body of Hirda and sneaked into the castle that way in a little bit harder trick. Mm. So. so what was the uh, razor blades that Fiddle had? That's a good question. What? I'm not going to yeah. answer that what, one. What were... I mean, might... I, I, was, I, I was suspicious, so I tried to investigate like what, what kind of creatures shape, uh, changes shapes. And, uh, well, uh, trolls can't handle uh, steel. So uh, that my razor blade was the only thing of, uh, like, steel I had on me. So, yep. And when you didn't touch it, I realized that, yeah, yep, that was you, it. You are, you are correct. That is yep. a weakness to some form of strange creatures. Now... Mm. Uh, and that was what, what was I uh, was what I did when I didn't follow. I tried to find someone who n know knew things about things like this. So. Yeah, right. Okay. Uh, like I said at the beginning of this adventure, there's there's probably no real happy ending in this adventure. You can like de debate whether this was a happy ending or a good ending. I mean, Harpa is dead. Uh, I don't think any character in this story is like satisfied. I mean, we we beat the villain. We we got the girl. We got the treasure. That didn't happen, as this is more of a I mean, creepy it's still story. Up, it's still up in the air whether or not I got the girl. That is true. That is true. You, you did get you did get a gold coin. You might get the girl, but you didn't beat the villain. Or you, you I mean, here's where Greg could be viewed as a villain. So depending on if your character liked or disliked Greg, that is a happy ending. But your your best I didn't friend really did like die. Greg. I didn't like, really like Greg. I didn't like what he was doing. <laughs> yep. Well, well, but I wouldn't kill him well, per se because I, I I would think that there would be honestly a power vacuum. You know, like when when somebody of higher higher power goes away, like a bunch of other people try and take that uh, power. But, uh, so, uh, so I would voice it as uh, the old person who did who was the yeah. leader decided to take up the mantle again. Yeah, and that brings an end to this little uh, adventure.